This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Get in topical. Hold up. Wait a minute. With the sex man. Hello, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How you doing, Eric? Good morning. How you feeling there, sir? Feeling all right. Kent State, I guess, right? 42 We're... years ago today. 42 years ago, man. And Neil had a had, man. Neil had to write a song about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the National Guard, man. That's how they ought to treat the fucking Occupy Wall Street people. Fucking unload on them. Just open fire. <laughs> open fucking fire. Just shoot them? Shoot them. Just fucking shoot them. Shoot them in their cocks? Right in the cocks. I don't blame her. I don't blame you. And then what? Have like a song made after that? Yeah. About how great the fucking... National Guard was for shooting Occupy Wall Street. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. The, song, the song now would be like System of a Down or something. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We don't have any... Who is our Neil Young? We don't really have a... We a, don't have our Neil Young. A really folk now. singer. Do we have a folk singer these days? It might be Eddie. Eddie Vedder? It might might have to go to Eddie Vedder, yeah. By the All way, right. Joe DeRosa's in studio. Yes. We're just chilling today, man. I know. <laughs> we're, keeping it, we're keeping it fucking low-key. Yep. And his, uh, his voice is a little shot and a little, a little. hoarse. It's, uh, so we're all just chilling, man. It feels it feels good in here. It's a good yeah, vibe. It good is. Vibe. Good fucking <laughs> chill vibe. Just hanging. It's Not a, much going on. We don't care. You know, nah. I'm, I'm, I'm ill-fated. We know today. we gave him a great week of radio, so we know he could just fucking coast. Just fucking to the weekend. Just I'm a little, hang, I'm, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm a little bummed out Why? right now. Well, I found out that the uh, Haley Mathers pictures are fake. Yeah. That's not Eminem's daughter what, what? Uh, on the intertubes. Was the internet picture. a buzz about this? Every, the internet was a buzz. Yeah. Um, apparently, it's some very hot chick right there look at that i could have told you that wasn't her yeah why uh because i remember seeing pictures of her when she was younger like with him yeah and i remember thinking she's our i mean she's, <laughs> <laughs> we're waiting for your i'm scared to say, i don't know what that was going to sound really negative i just i just i she, she wasn't going to turn out that she's hot. a cute kid mm -hmm. yeah but jesus christ that girl's like a, that girl looks like a fucking model man. yeah yeah she's you like know, a not, young model right she's knocking, awesome so, I don't know who that is that they faked and said it was right. uh, Eminem's daughter, but whoever the fuck that chick is, is awesome. It's a great gag. <laughs> yeah. Everyone was yeah. buying into it, but Joe DeRosa is here to say that, you know, Eminem's daughter is going to grow up pretty ugly. A pig, he said, nah, pig, pig butt-faced ugly. That is not That's our I job, said. to read between the lines, Joe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll fill in the blanks, Joe. You just sit there. Yeah, you relax. <laughs> we'll, we'll let everyone know what you meant. We're professionals. <laughs> just get in the back seat. Let us drive this baby. That's not what You're I good. said. You're good. Yeah. The uh yeah, but I mean, you know, man, that's uh that girl's uh I don't know. What is that? She looks like a fake. Dude, she looks like one of the, She looks like clip art, that girl. Like, that doesn't yeah. look like a real person to me. Oh, I bet she looks like a real person in real life. <laughs> That's for sure. With all the moving parts. Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. You guys are talking about her cunt, right? No, yes. No, and her, no, her tits. No. Her tits and her, her cunt. ass and her pussy. Oh. Yeah. You know, Kaczynski was given four life sentences plus 30 years. <laughs> what? Why do they do it that way? Yeah, well, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, and you're not getting out. Four, li well, how are you going to survive four life sentences? And then if you survive that, you get 30 years on top. Four of life that. sentences. <laughs> you come back from the dead, you're in jail. In jail, 14 Amazing. years. The miracle. If a miracle happened and you came back from the dead, they would be like, get the fuck back in. That's uh. They'll lock you up. How and they... if you do it again and again, you're still going to jail. That's one of my favorite Richard Pryor bits. What do you say? Yeah. When he goes. He just says like, this motherfucker had three lives. He had no. He, this motherfucker had triple life. I mean, if he die and come back, he got to go to penitentiary. <laughs> yeah, he got to go to penitentiary. <laughs> then he goes. He, then he goes. Uh, Did my kindergarten? You little ass know what you did last time you was here. Get the fucking penitentiary. <laughs> 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 it's the red, it's the Gene Wilder bit, yeah. where, where he talks about when they were shooting stir crazy. The thing, yeah. for, where he's wearing that uh, red suit. That you know the special I'm talking. Sure, about? of course, I'm listening to you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I can't tell when you get. Well, I'm good. You... <laughs> chill out. We're chilling today. <laughs> you guys 
get quiet? Because sometimes oh we God. like to listen. <laughs> we're actually very rare, though. We're actually, I mean, at times we talk all the, all over each other, but we're good listeners on this show. You what? are. You're, and we allow you guys to fucking say your shit. What? You looked so peaceful just now. I'm chill, yeah. man. It's you, chill today. I could hear that Willie Nelson song playing again. Yeah. You look oh, so God. calm. Didn't dude. that suck? Yeah, you know what? I don't know. Which, I liked it. Which... Uh, Eddie Vedder's uh, version is, or Pearl Jam's version Willie is way can't sing. Way Willie's better. a terrible singer. Yeah, did, were you the one that said that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was like, it sounds like it sounds like your dad, it yeah. sounds like when your dad Bingo. waltzes your mom around the kitchen and is singing to her. <laughs> Does that yeah. really happen? I don't my know. dad would waltz my mom into the walls. <laughs> At <laughs> first, damn. At first. <laughs> fucking row. Uh, oh, your mom's name is Row too. Yeah, it's my mom's. Name. You got a Row. Yeah, really. Yeah, no bullshit. I'll tell you when. My dad's name was Asshole. As far as my mom was concerned, <laughs> hey Asshole. We had Willie Nelson in when we were at WNEW. It was one of uh, one of our. I'm telling you, one of my career highlights. Willie fucking Nelson He's on got our that show. That shaky voice thing going. Remember, yeah. he would. He was just getting high in his tour bus waiting oh, yeah. for the interview, and he, he came up, weed. and he had he had a guitar. That had a hole in it. He's played it so much, and he refuses to change out his guitar. He would fuck it. He would fuck it. Yeah, he yes. would fuck his guitar. And he had no, maybe not. He had. He would fuck it. He had everyone sign this guitar, but he still continued to play it. So like, just legendary people that signed this thing. You, you can't even see their autograph anymore because he played right over it. Yeah. A huge hole in it from you know playing. Where was the hole? Right where you fucking strum. Oh, uh, from from his pick. Yeah, right, right below the strings. I guess it would it would be right. Richie Havens had that in Woodstock. Oh my he was god! He's playing freedom, but, freedom, freedom, and he had a big fucking hole in his guitar. But after that, I started getting into Willie Nelson a little bit. Yeah, he was promoting an album, I think, with Emmy Lou Harris at the time, oh, maybe. Boy. Maybe. And I kind of got into it for a f for a few months. All right. What I mean, about, I respect the man. What about always on my mind? You're always on my mind. It's that, cr like, crackly, shaky voice, like yeah. like uh, Joe said, just like your dad trying to sing a song. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. Well, he's older than all our dead dads, so. But he's, like, oh, just horrible. How old is he now? He's got to be pushing 75 easy. Yeah. I think he's about 75. Uh, another commercial. You sure find all the commercials on oh, the YouTube. That was—I was going to say that—that that was Willie Nelson. Yeah, <laughs> I was, yeah, that, that threw me off. What? Uh, you're always on my mind. Yeah, it, it, he does. It's the Bob Dylan thing. Yeah, Bob Dylan's another one. I love Can, Bob Dylan. Cannot sing. Not oh. as much lately because of his voice, but maybe I. Right. <laughs> piano <love> player. <laughs> He was old back then. Look how old he is there. <laughs> how old is this? He's got to be 30 years old easy. Is it really? 82? That's 1980 fucking two. I nailed it. 30 years ago. And he already looked old. He always did just look like a scraggly fucking... Just looks dirty. <laughs> like he should have one of those, a stick with a, a bandana tied to the end of it on a train car. Yeah, or, he looks like, yeah he should be playing harmonica, singing Jimmy Crack Horn. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his hair, though. It's like not not all gray. His beard is gray. His beard is gray, but his Completely hair on his gray. head isn't. Years ago, he he's an old gray fuck. beard, man. But he wants us what to throw corn oil in our in our tanks or something to drive around? Are you kidding? Is he one of those soybean oil, some kind of oil? Corn oil in your fucking car? But you know, Off he with your corn oil. He Give believes me gas. in it. He believes in it. And some of those truck drivers are fucking buying yeah. into it. When I pound down the fucking gas pedal, I want to fucking launch that vehicle. <laughs> I don't want to sit there sputtering with fucking canola oil falling out of my uh, exhaust pipe. I think the problem is there's not a lot of gas stations that are offering this service. Yes, yeah, and I'm pumping that. Out. <laughs> what, what kind of oil? Come on, truck drivers, help me out. You you put some of that shit. I in think your it tank. is it's like corn oil. Right? Is it corn oil? Yeah, something like that. Says we don't need the Middle East. We got corn, and we can make it into oil. That's all you need, Jack. That's right, Jack. That's right. Biodiesel. Biodiesel. Yeah. It's what is like it made out of? Diesel and oil. Well, I think. I don't but, know. No, but what kind of oil? We know oil. <laughs> it's made out of It's diesel. like salad dressing <clears throat> oil, though. It's really weird oil. Help me out. It is. It's corn. Yeah. Was it corn? I think it is. It's not soybean oil. Shut up. I said I'm just yelling at people. No, I'm, I'm yelling at people. Hey, Joe, how right. was your sleepover with Roland? Oh. 
Um, <laughs> see, oh, Joe's boy. now in Philly for a little while. You, you yeah. went over that whole thing. Things yeah. Philly, motherfucker. <laughs> things going ah. okay down there? Ah. Uh, yeah, things, things, uh, things went all right, and uh, my mom is recovering. Oh, well, good. Well, yeah. you weren't talking about the fact that it was your mom last time. I know. You, you were keeping <laughs> it very vague. Yeah. You went home to help your mom out. Yeah, She's but going you know, through a thing. I read online that Everlast left his late. He's in this new rap group, and he left the group because his daughter was sick. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, if Everlast can announce that his daughter is sick, I can yeah, announce yeah. that my mom was That's sick. Pretty, pretty. Everlast is way more famous than me. <laughs> <laughs> so. Your mom had a major operation. Yeah, she uh, she had a major operation, and. Uh, She's recovering. She's doing better every day, and Good. she's on her feet, and she's moving around, and she's doing well. Did, so it all went well. They get everything out. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so, good. so all is well. But you know, she's still, she's still got to just get physically 100 percent strong. Back and to you are there to was. help out. Yeah, and I'm there for moral support yeah. and that whole thing. You're a good so, boy, Joe. Yeah. You're a good you must, boy. You must be yeah. an only child. Thank you. I am an only child. That's why you're helping. I am an only child. Oh. See if if you're in a family of seven like me, you you pawn it off on somebody. Uh, you know. Pawn it off. Things happen. It's, uh, <laughs> you wait for it's... someone else to step up. <laughs> well, it's been. Uh, I'm here to tell you, I waited for someone else to step it's... up, and, and that guy in my family is a fucking saint. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, uh, the 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 coolest part has been getting to tell my mom like who exactly is saying how's your mom doing. Well, and oh. it was cool to get to tell her, mom. Opie and Anthony asked how you were doing. There you and go. said they want they hope you're doing okay. Yes. Mom, Colin Quinn texted me. And oh. Said, uh, oh. Mom, David Tell called. David oh. Tell. Oh. It's just a cavalcade of a comedians. Nice, who, nice. Who's not on that list? Yeah. Is that, that what you're getting at? That was everybody. That was That's everyone the right there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, Bobby and Billy. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. these are all. Oh, Jesus, Joe. People she knows. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ, Joe. How's your mom oh, doing? Oh, right? Jesus. Oh, yeah, come on, Joe. Come oh, on, what are you? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, Jesus. It's fucking up. I'll tell you, the fucking banks. That's where the fucking yeah, cancers yeah. are all coming from. Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Sorry yeah. from the money. Everyone yeah. knows the money's uh, what's giving people disease. The yeah. money's dirty, Joe. This is, is that's how they fucking get you, DeRosa, okay? They get you in the fucking hospital. There's no gold to back up the fucking dollar anymore, okay? And you're fucked. Don't buy a fucking house. Okay? Illuminati. <laughs> fucking Illuminati. You're on the hamster wheel, Joe. <laughs> you're on the hamster wheel. <laughs> Go ahead, be, be, be part of the problem. Jump. Be part of the fucking problem. <laughs> they, uh, they've all been really uh, tremendous. Uh, and she knows all of them. She knows some of them from meeting them. But, like, most of these guys, she just knows uh, from he yeah. hearing of you. I you need know? to know. Were we the best, though? The biggest names? Not the biggest names, but the more the most caring out of the group. Most caring. I'll tell you, I, I'd actually... <laughs> what an asshole. Uh, You're actually, the most caring, though, right? Actually, your sibling uh, was the most caring. The one that stepped up oh. in your family. He reached out. And... <laughs> well, he probably would, too. His radio show fans were really supportive. <laughs> uh, no, but actually, I, w I would very sincerely uh, like to say this on the air. Um, you're, the fans of this show and the fans of the You Know What Dude podcast and the mm. fans and just fans of my comedy, whatever, all together, the whole pool of those people, I have received... These an abs literally an absolutely overwhelming oh, amount cool. of messages on Twitter and Facebook and email from people saying we hope everything's cool. Like yeah, these you know, they can be it's all right. Really fucking amazing, man. Yeah, these bastards, they're, they're good eggs when it, these pieces when of great. shit. Let me tell you, they're, they're, they're really good eggs for the quads. Let's they're talk great. About these dick bags. They understand the difference, which I like. Well, so thank I, thank I, you I, to anybody listening. I mean, it's right, really Joe. impressive. Jesus. All right. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. All right, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. That's what they want, dude. Joe. That's what they want. Joe. They got you connected over fucking email. They're reading all this shit. That's what they do. Oh, oh somebody's sick. Start sending fucking emails. Remember, you used to send a card. That's how you used to fucking do it. You used to hand deliver a my fucking God. card. Nobody knew where you were, what you were fucking doing. Hey. <laughs> Now you're groveling, Joe. Jeez. Look at Anthony trying to no, not try not to fucking cough. It's, it's you all right? terrible. This I am so. He's got a really can, bad sore throat. Can yeah. I speak f uh, freely? I won't. I won't yeah, that's full disclosure, but we yeah. were supposed to hang out. Tonight. Yes, we were. Yeah. I am so fucking sad about this right now Dude. that we're not going to have our fucking night. Tonight. I am too. The, I really uh, am too. I just I'll tell you what, all I want to do is get loaded with you. I know. That's all I wanted to do. Yeah. Why I, don't you stay in the city? We'll go get drunk. No, I still I, get loaded. I can't. Get loaded. I I'm so going fucking home and just crashing. Uh, I feel like shit. I, I like 
I had that stupid fucking cold, and now this cough won't go away, and it gave me a sore throat because I was hacking like crazy last night, and it just chewed my fucking voice up. You sound bad. It's it fucking it hurts. It's horse. like literally like ow. And then ow. he drank really hot tea. I and I want yeah, oh and I burnt God. my tongue from Kenny's fucking <laughs> lava that he brought me because he doesn't notice any of that stuff. No, <laughs> Kenny's a robot. Hot. hot. <laughs> yeah, it, I just knew it wasn't cold. I just... <laughs> it's BioWilly.com, by the way, if you want to learn about diesel. Oh, great. Diesel fuel made out of uh, yeah, corn or something that like wonderful. that. Speaking, speaking of money, uh, you know we're getting close to getting rid of the penny finally? Yes. Oh, it's about fucking time. Pennies are just annoying. I guess Canada is rolling out their last penny today. Yeah. and Canada then, uh, finally it, realized, yeah, the penny's stupid. They're going to phase it out in, out of circulation they within wanna, a few months. And they want to do that in America, but I don't know what they're waiting for. They say it makes it, it costs more. This yeah. is why the government it fucking drives me nuts. They It costs more to make the penny than, than what than it's, it's worth. worth. Yeah. They can, the government can't even figure out how to make the penny cheaper. It's so, Literally make the penny cheaper. It's so dumb. It, it's so fucking that dumb. That tells you a lot about our government. Well, stop making it out of fucking copper or whatever it's I don't it's think it is, really. It it's like of? zinc or some shit now. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. It's, made, it's like no copper in that anymore. Yeah. Make, but, it, uh, make yeah. it out of fucking plastic or paper. Who paper. gives a shit? Nobody's going to use pennies. them anyway, you know? I, I, get, yeah. I actually get mad when they give me pennies back at this point. I'm like, just round it up. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Round it you down. Don't I don't a give fuck. a shit. How about Starbucks? <laughs> You're not a Starbucks guy. No. These cunts. <laughs> a tall coffee at Starbucks in New York City uh -huh. is two dollars and one cent. Are you serious? And guess what? Oh, Nine out of ten times they won't let you fucking slide for the penny. They won't? No. What the fuck are they doing? Give a penny, and, take a penny. And a lot of times I'll take, penny, the, take a penny. I'll take the penny right out of their fucking tips and I go, here's your oh, fucking man. penny. And they'll look at me and I go, trust me, I put a, a, a lot of money in your tip jar over the years. I don't want 99 cents back because I, cause, cause you guys have decided to make it uh, $2 and a penny. Who yeah, does that's that? That's fucking yeah. ridiculous. That's just, they're fucking with you. That's Whoever works at Starbucks, you call up right the fuck now and tell me why you do that. Because that's so fucking they're ridiculous. Fucking with you. Exactly, and Plus, don't and don't don't call up. Can I can I just say? Oh yes. Don't you fucking call up and say, uh, "Hey, I just work there." Right. It's not I, my rule. All I, Nazis march for Hitler. Yeah. I was. I was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was in Cleveland, and this happened. Just the following only thing, orders, right? The only thing that was open in Cleveland from uh, six in the morning until probably two in the afternoon is Starbucks in the city. So God, it's two dollars and a penny, right? I'm like, I, I got, I, I throw the $2 down, and I, I have the standoff. I wanted the oh, guy man. to ask for the penny. Guess what? The guy asked for the fucking penny. And really? I went, I went, are you serious? And he what goes, yeah. Cocksucker so I had to pull another dollar out, and then I got the 99 cents. That's always good to have a pocket full of fucking change. A pocket full of 99 cents. These sons of bitch bastards. Oh, man. These goddamn motherfuckers. Oh, man. You know, fucking ridiculous. And then, down to the other picture, you fuck. There. You fuck. Just leave it there. Just well, look what, at her and gawk. So, I don't even understand how you justify 201. I would rather have it 220. Jesus. I would rather pay more. Yeah. I really would. Yeah, that's just an, that's an asshole fucking $2 thing. Two dollars and a cent. If you I don't even say that. Two dollars and a penny? I don't even... Two dollars and one 201, cent. 201, I guess, right? If yeah. you run a register and you don't let a guy slide any... I, I, I say this. You got to let a guy slide up to four cents. Wow. Wow! Oh, yeah, easily. That's a bold statement. Easily. If it's, oh, <laughs> if it's oh four, once it's oh five, then it's like sorry, dude. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're saying it's so. Uh, there's more money to leave for a tip. It's it is a, true. You're not going to carry that a change. cup of coffee. But you're not going to carry do, that change with you. You're going to take the handful of change yeah. and then whip it into their tip cup. But you won't necessarily do that with a I, dollar. And I do tip, but it's <laughs> it's more the annoyance of the whole thing. If someone makes me something, I give them a tip. This is, this, is, oh. this is a fucking problem, man. Okay. Yeah. I, <laughs> Just I, do a fucking I, Starbucks, dude. Okay. I go, Jesus. Fucking Jesus. I go to a veg vegetable uh, juice joint every fucking day, and and they're making this this thing for me. So of course I, yeah. I tip them every time. And you always have the older lady like grabbing her change or looking for change so so she could pay for it perfectly. Oh, I'm God. like, this is guys are working for you, man. Fucking give up the change. Is there anything worse than 
being behind an old I mean and I oh have, I have sympathy for old people but just being behind an old yeah. person paying for something it's and just li- their questions it's a and chore. when they go I got the 28 cents but now they have to look through that wallet that has a million fucking pockets oh, in it they're fucking so they're trying to figure sh- out what their, their hands are fucking is. shaking their transparent uh. skin and blue pulsating veins their yeah. hands are shaking. They get every, and then they get it. They pay for it, and you're standing there. Now they're repacking their fucking giant pocketbook, slowly putting shit back. Right. It takes for the whole transaction's done, and it still takes them forever. Are you like me, where you're, you get close every time to knocking the wallet right out of their hands? Oh, my, <laughs> fucking, I've, I've had, I've had these visions. Oh, I've had visions of do how much time. a jaw would shatter <laughs> just hitting it. Like, imagine an uh, old person jaw. You just come around behind him, bam, clock him in the jaw. Uh, I want to knock an old lady my, purse out of their hands. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> my fantasy is always, because they'll just cut in front of you like like you owe it to them. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like like it's my fault you live to fucking 98. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> right? They'll just cut in front of you in line. My fantasy is always punching them in the soft part of the back of the oh, neck. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus. Right that is the head. And, oh, Jesus Christ, John. <laughs> fucking, you know, Jesus Christ. And it just splits open, and I see their... Their brain slide out. Oh, yeah. That's my always been my favorite. That is a good one. Everyone's saying, so there's more change for a tip, but it works uh, the opposite for me. I'm like, you know what? Out of principle, I'm putting the 99 cents in my fucking pocket. I always oh, yeah. dump it. Sorry. Is, that is a brilliant strategy, though. I throw that change into that fucking cup every time. I can't stand carrying yeah. that pocket full of fucking it's, change. And you can't do it anymore because you got, like, your iPhone in there and shit, mm. and, and you can't fucking just... Like dump change in with the iPhone. It's gonna scratch up the yep. fucking thing. So you you rather just get rid of the fucking change. I got a special pocket for my phone. Do you? Oh yeah. It does. What pocket is it? It's, it's my that? left front pocket. It's oh. my phone pocket. My keys go in my right pocket. You, key, you ever you ever make a mistake and put your keys in the oh, right? And you're like, oh my god, I just trashed my fucking oh, yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the other yeah. thing, it costs three cents to make a penny. This is what three our government does. They can't penny. even figure that out. Oh, then how about you get rid of the fucking penny? This country just stinks. <laughs> well, now we got you know, Jesus, Joe. Now we got to choose between Romney and Obama. <laughs> Lucky Jesus. us. Lucky us. Uh, Romney or, or Obama. Two fucking Lucky doofs. us. Two I, goofy politician douchebags. Uh, like it's it's the way I watch people blindly pledge allegiance to both of those men. It, yeah. it annoys the fuck out of me. Like, of all the years, I wish they had some fucking redneck fucking third candidate coming in from left field. It's this fucking year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just somebody else for me to go, I like that guy. You know what I mean? Anyone like, but these uh, two. Anyone uh, but just, these two. I will vote for fucking Romney, though, because I just I have that much of an aversion to uh, Obama. Yeah, I understand why people are going to vote for whoever they vote for, but I don't. I, I just. But I mean, it's a lesser of two evils this, thing. This great country of, of ours, and, and this is what we got to pick between. It's a, it's a dog it, and it pony show. It amazes me. Yeah. It's a dog. There weren't better candidates, really? Jesus, Joe, it's a dog and pony show. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I love fucking it's her. Fucking... <laughs> yeah, they tell you to go fucking vote. What do you do? You go out and vote? What do they got in the voting booths? Cameras. They know where the fuck you were. That's how they fucking do it, dude. <laughs> this is Bert. This is the way he sits there when he's going on a fucking Oh, yeah, rant. when he's on one of his rants. He yeah. leans way back in his chair. Like, like he's pontificating. He's holding court. <laughs> you know that, dude? You know the no. start. Sorry, yeah, you gotta go, go Joe. No, go. no, no, sorry, no, no, sorry. Go. no, 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 no. I cut you off. I'm sorry. Nah, I'm, sorry. I'm obsessing about the Starbucks thing. So seriously, what <laughs> you were about to say was way better. I was gonna re- because some asshole now is going. Why don't you just carry pennies around? I don't know when I'm going what? to Starbucks to get my two dollars. Why would you I carry, carry pennies? pennies you yeah. fucking idiot! I'll also my... carry some leeches in my fucking <laughs> yeah. pocket for when I get sick. <laughs> you fucking goddamn medieval asshole! Did, didn't you? <laughs> we're all in agreement that we don't like carrying change. So now I'm gonna leave the house. On purpose with change in my pocket. Yeah, my whole goal throughout the day is to get rid of my change. Get rid of the change. That's <laughs> the, that is the game. If I That's come home with no change, I'm like, so happy. That sounds like a Seinfeld bit, <laughs> but it's real. That's all every day is. Every it's day getting just, rid of your change. But I, I <laughs> can't justify giving them all ninety nine cents. So I take the ninety nine cents, and then guess what? I, I I actually give more money to homeless people nowadays because I because of the change. Issue. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm always emptying whatever I have in my my pocket change wise. The it first in. homeless guy I see. I'll take you a step further. I don't like carrying ones. <laughs> really? I don't fucking like it. It is annoying. I don't like when they build up. 
No, because you need always you need a few up. ones to make sure you don't get too many ones back. Yep, yep. Oh, this is very Seinfeldish. All right. And your ones build up because every fucking cunt wants to make sure they get a tip. Oh, yep. sorry, dude. All I have is ones and fives. Really, really. So you get a tip at fucking oh. Wendy's, you asshole. Yes, yes. How about when you buy something in a in a tip atmosphere? And they just assume that you're going to tip, so they, like, break that 10 down to 10 ones. Yep. That's when I don't tip. I'm like, you know what? Fuck you. Yeah. I'm actually a really good tipper. I know I get a reputation on the show, but I really am. But when they play that, those games, that's when I fucking chisel them back and go, go fuck yourself. Yeah. I've snapped at guys before when I'm they like, start handing to... me, like, yeah. the 10 ones. I go, I go, stop. I'm going to give you a tip. Right. Don't give me all ones right now, right. man. Yeah, exactly. So fucking irritating, man. Right. Do that at the strip clubs, too, man, where they do, like... You, you get a beer. Well, you need the ones. And then they the just right. well, deal all the ones. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they know, you know, you got to give it to yeah. the ladies. Well, the beautiful, it, you ladies. At least in a strip club, I get something out of it. It's right. like if I tip, I get exactly. to come in my pants, possibly. <laughs> like Roland. Where <laughs> Roland made cumsies at the strip club. Yep. Did he make cumsies? Twice. Twice. He came twice. And then wanted to go to another in the strip back club room. on the way home from the strip club. He was taking girls back Roland there like rocks. crazy in Cleveland. How much did he spend? Uh, he said like three, was it 300? Something like that, yeah. Something like that. But it's Cleveland, so you got a lot for Cleveland, money. you know, yeah. Cleveland strippers aren't really uh, demanding <laughs> that much cash. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. Cleveland, Cleveland stripper. Got, that just sounds depressing, doesn't it? He must have got full penetration for that money. Oh, oh, so, you're living in Cleveland. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm dancing. Right. I'm da I was in fucking uh, Peoria, Illinois once. Oof. And actually, I had a great time out there. It's actually a very fun town, but I yeah. went to a strip club. And I remember the lap dances, you know, they were like to go in the It was like 20 bucks. For sure. But, Standard. But I remember being annoyed. I'm like, that's how much it is in New York. Fuck yourself. That is true. You know, like Peoria, mm. it should be like, it should be 750 There <laughs> is. You are right. But there is no like, there's no difference no matter where you are with, with strippers. It's going to be 20 bucks a song. Yeah. Shit like that. It's like when in the old days when you used to just buy a joint. It was a buck, no matter where the fuck you are, no matter how good or bad the weed was. It was a dollar for a joint. <laughs> you used to be able to just buy joints. Oh, I, I remember the kid in school. He would uh, the guy that would deal the weed would have his cigarette pack, and it was full of joints, and he would just open it up. It was and be a like, dollar, yeah. yeah. What do you want? And you'd look, you'd squeeze, and go, like, "Yeah, I'll take this one," and you give him a buck. I was, too, was that? I was too scared to smoke pot in high school. <laughs> really? Yeah, really? I was constantly smoking pot in high school. I, I was too scared. Constantly. Yeah, I, was, I needed to graduate and get it away from my. My home life. <laughs> I couldn't fuck that up. Uh, I was terrified of it. I knew 18 was coming. Yeah. I knew I had a fucking split. And I didn't want to ruin that by becoming a pothead. <laughs> pothead? I was such a pothead. Then when, then when I was free and clear from my, uh, from my mama, I, uh, yeah, then I, I smoked Delve. pot in college. I, uh, yeah, I was terrified of it, but I was terrified of it for like... I like looked down on it. I was like, it's disgusting that people do that. It's so like I really. Oh, I at wanted it like a oh. drug. No, yeah. I didn't look down at and it. And then after like a solid two and a half years, from like my seat, from like late junior year all the way through senior year, all the way to the end of my freshman year in college, wow. of every single person I know smoking it, I was finally like, finally. I want to try this, <laughs> and I did, and I was like, oh my, I love you. Uh, okay, I smoked now it I every day for like four years after that. <laughs> now I see why. So yeah. everyone's smoking this. It's pretty good. So you're a Rocky Horror guy. No. You were a Rocky Horror oh guy. Oh my god. In high school, I hope not. You? What do you mean? You went to the midnight shows, didn't you? No. And acted yeah. out the fucking movie. You're oh, one of Jesus. those guys, aren't Look, you? Look, I went to the midnight premieres of all the all six Star Wars movies and the <laughs> <laughs> you know, shit like that. But I wasn't a Rocky Horror guy. I'm just bringing it back a bit from earlier this week. We oh, what we was... hated Rocky Horror. We finally admitted it, it to stinks. everybody that it was the most overrated thing when we were growing up. Terrible. It fucking stinks. All right, so you're on our side. Yeah. Well, that, that's the thing. They know it stinks too. You know, I mean, that's the whole. That's why people like it, though, right? I don't know. Some don't people know, get so man. into it, and they're acting out the parts in front of the screen. It's just embarrassing. Yeah. It's the first yeah. time a bad movie got that following, isn't it? Um, wow, yeah. Cult following, as Cult they like following. to say. Yeah. But they weren't being ironic. Is that the I proper use of yeah. ironic there? I think they were. I think it was like... You think they were being ironic? I think oh. so. I think it's like, oh, it's so cheesy and gaudy that it's, that it's great. That we I can think. goof on it to make it more entertaining. They figured out a way to make spin. it more entertaining. We just thought they were all a bunch of fucking assholes. <laughs> you knew you didn't need to hang out with those people. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I just knew. Well, you, you guys would know better than me. 
Oh, I'm talking oh, like, older. Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I meant. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the truth hurts. Yeah. No, but I'm saying I'm talking like I was there. Like, was it ironic at the time, or was it really like people were actually were in? No, they're still it. doing it to this day, though. Mm. I think You're, you didn't have kids in your high school going to uh, Rocky yeah. Horror. No, but dude, I huh. dude, I lived in Norristown, Pennsylvania. It's it was like, massive. You know, it's when not growing up. It was massive. Mm. Yeah. A lot of people went to that stupid ass shit. I come from a very uh, not diverse part of Pennsylvania. It was very there's really? one type of bar. You know, it's either the cover band bar or like the sort of Guido y dance club kind of bar or like the sports bar. That's it. That, those are your three choices. It's like there's no. Would everyone get off of the mill on Friday and go to the bar? <laughs> bo, 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 Yeah, bo. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Billy Joel. Mm, thank, clank, I'm going to do clank. this again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He did a whole Bob Seger thing the other day. Oh, you did? Oh, oh fuck yeah. yeah. Come well, on. What was it? Uh, uh, just... Night Moves, talking about how firm those tits were. <laughs> But we all just made believe he wasn't singing about tits. <laughs> it was it, about it, the points up high and Bob Seger's we firm. And we realize Bob Seger really doesn't like the fact that he got old. <laughs> he just reminisces about you know going uh, to the woods and fucking girls and yeah. when he used to hang out and drive his car and yeah. cheap beer Ever like so, that. Dude, he makes it all sound so pained. Like yeah, here yeah. I go on the road again. He sings it like he's going on a horse. <laughs> it's like oh, is it tough in your air conditioned bus with the wine? <laughs> Why did we do this? You yeah. fucking asshole! You're nailing it. <laughs> yeah, man. And his fans are like real blue collar guys losing uh, their fucking appendages at work. Oh my god! Yeah, That's... real tough job you got there, Bobby. Uh, uh, yeah. Bobby Seeger. You know what? He hasn't seen home in a while. He's on the road. Yeah, it's on a tough life, man. Road. Here I yeah. go, fucking these groupies again. <laughs> oh, these blowjobs are getting me down. Here I go, a million dollars a night. How about, how about we do the? How about we do the song we're talking about, Iraq? Oh, that's great. Please, yeah, Iraq. How about turn the one? page? Because you probably don't know. It. How about turn the page? <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. Metallica's version is awesome, but I, st I still uh, enjoy the original. <laughs> His just it, as much. It's an awesome song. It really is, but he is bitching a little too much. Strung out from the road, you're, ri you're driving 16 hours. <laughs> oh, it's crazy! But it's crazy. But why? Hold on, let's break it down. 16 why hours? He's sleeping. He's yeah. in his fucking nice but, bed. But break it down. Why is he driving 16 hours? For what reason? To play his music, man. To play his music and fuck groupies. And fuck yeah. groupies. And have maybe a little fucking pot. He makes it sound like he's fucking trucking pig shit around the country. <laughs> right. Oh, it's right. the same old cliches. Is that a woman or a man? A lot of guys saying, like, hey, you look like a chick. <laughs> look, all right, he's got the lonesome highway. Yeah, listen to the pain Omaha. fucking vocal. Uh, oh, boy, that's, this is bad. You think truckers love this song? The engines, dude. He's singing yeah. about his tour bus engines. Yeah. You think about the woman or the girl you knew the night before. He's right. talking. He's just fucking some girl. <laughs> right. He's fresh right. off a of fucking. Right. He's gonna back have, on his bus. He's going to have a girl to replace that girl within hours. No, no, he just, just fucked. Right. Literally, wash your dick. When you ride six right. down, do, 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 do. let's rephrase that. When your bus driver's driving you 16 hours and yeah, you're yeah, kind of yeah. bored in the bus. Yeah, but you turn on the TV. <laughs> oh, he's, he's on, on the road, road again. That means he's very successful, by the way. Yeah. There's a lot of bands that wish they could be on the road again. Live version? Um, yeah. I never right. heard of uh, that. Like the live version. Yeah, what's this like? I never heard that. Russian y dance yeah. thing under it. Good job. Live version. There's only two live versions. In I don't want the live version. One from back in 72 and one from Live Bullet. I think the only version is a live version. I yeah, think the original I, I version is right, but it's yeah, the, the live version we all know. Yeah, yeah. This is a little different, I think. Hang on. I got a I got another great one for this <laughs> ongoing trashing. Wait, we should also <laughs> do, do that fucking song. What's this other song? Just take those old rings <laughs> off the shelf. Oh, old time rock and roll. <laughs> I just called it old time rock and roll. Oh god! Shut your face, Bob Seger. But, but I'm more obsessed with Turn the Page because he just oh, realized yeah. he has an amazing life. <laughs> All right. Risky yeah. business, right? Yeah. Uh, 
Today's music. See, he's always talking about the past. Today's music ain't got the same soul. He likes old time rock and roll. <laughs> this guy is like, if you listen to this music, you think he's going to kill himself because he's old. I, I always think it's hilarious when these the guys from this era bitch about disco. Yeah. Because it always sounds like they're just being like, get these blacks out of the room. <laughs> I don't like the way they look. <laughs> You're right, but it sounds so fucking racist. But there's a dance beat in that song, basically. I know that's. that's you know what I mean? It's like a there's a rhythm there. That's a disco beat, dude. Uh, Absolutely, but they don't yeah. they don't want to admit that they're actually yeah. acknowledging that disco was pretty fucking huge. Oh my god. I got another great guy to throw on this list of douchey guys. Douchey guys. I, wait, 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 wait. I I love Seeger. <laughs> It's funny that we broke down his song, but I don't, I don't, I don't consider him douchey. It's he's the same thing as all the other guys to me. Like Allentown is a great song, but shut the fuck it's, up. Shut it's up, a Billy. Great pop a Billy song. Joel, I mean, you know? Yeah. It's you know what I'm saying? It's 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 what we were talking about. It's like they're half. You love them, but you're like, oh Christ. Yeah. Why do yeah. you have to go there? Type of thing. Yeah. But. This seems like a very basic song. It was a clang, huge hit, obviously. Uh, clang. I love this song. But anyone could have sang this. Really? But he wrote it, I guess. Uh, you know, oh, he wrote credit, it. Right. Well, dude, he lived it, dude. Oh, yeah. He Did he live it? it? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Did he? Did he really? Here he's down. All right, who's the other douchey uh, guy? Because we've done the Allentown break. Yeah. Uh, are you ready? Yeah. Uh, George Thorogood. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> We I'm get bad. it, George. I'm we get it, mode. George. You like to drink. <laughs> oh, but he's God. a badass. But I, I wonder uh, if anyone ever called him out on being a badass. And said, All right, really, George, what do you got? Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And he just well, keeps singing in his face. I'm oh, bad. scotch. Oh, beer. Yeah. I like this sound, though. Yeah. You weren't a big George Thurgood fan? I like I like one bourbon once. It's the same. It's the same thing. Yeah, like, it annoys yeah. me that I Wait, like can, it. You, can you go into the beginning of one bourbon, one scotch, one beer? Because there's a whole s setup story, man. The rent oh, is right, like right, the right. rent is laid. The rent's laid. laid and and he's he's got to talk about problems. And you know how he's going to fix that? Yeah. By drinking. That's right. He's just going to drink. Yeah. Give me the beginning of this. Bad to the bone is is ruined. You can never listen to it because it's so what? like. Bad to the Bone got ruined because, like, He's they did doing too many cheesy montages oh, to it. Pauses. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, they would do, like, they would do, like, a commercial for the Golden Girls, and it would be, like, a montage of Sophia saying oh, crazy things and be playing Bad to the Bad Bone. Bad to the Bone, you're it's right. Like, He's just doing Bo Diddley, really, right? Right there? Well, George yeah. Thurgood's just doing Bo Diddley riffs, oh, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. He's not Yeah, very pretty good. much, I yeah. think, right? I don't think he's very good. What is it with guys with I don't. big mouths wanting to play the blues? Him and fucking Stevie Ray Vaughan, just horse tooth oh, fucking... Stevie Ray Vaughan. <laughs> Stevie Ray Vaughan, come on, man. I'm not uh, trashing just... his music. I'm just saying they Can both... Can you imagine have... what he would have... Well, he probably would have got fucking wimpy if he'd, he'd have been lived. a Wilbury. He oh, no. would stink now if he was still alive. Couldn't stand the weather? You don't like fucking Stevie Ray Vaughan? No, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm saying if he was still alive, he would stink now. How old would probably. Hendrix be right now? Not that old. No, come on. Can, can you uh, believe it or not? Not that old. Come on. Come he'd on. probably be like fifty-five. No way. No, he'd, he'd be, be a lot older 60? than that. He'd be. I'd say seventies. I don't think he'd be in I his seventies. I think 70s. Hendrix is is seventies. I don't think so, man. Look up Hendrix. When was he born? Nineteen seventy. He was born in nineteen seventy. No, he wasn't born in nineteen seventy. <laughs> <laughs> I look like an <laughs> asshole. He <laughs> fucking died. Oh my god. He died in nineteen seventy. I shit. wish your mic was on. I go. How old's Hendrix? Uh, uh, when was he born? Nineteen seventy. Nineteen seventy. Forty-two. He'd be. He'd be about uh, seventy-five. See, forty-two is uh, seventy-five. Fifty-eight plus uh, seventy. What's wrong with you? Seventy. Seventy. Oh right. Seventy. Okay. Seventy. All right. So. That's not that old. Yeah, you know what yeah. though? For Hendrix, I mean, fucking uh, imagine a seventy-year-old Hendrix. M McCartney's that old, right? Do you know how sad it would be? Do you yeah. know how sad to be a seventy-year-old Hendrix? That'd be sad. He'd be all fucking fat and shit. Oh and my god! And he'd sit god. there on the stool, and it would be all like, dun, 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 dun. you know what I mean? Oh. It would be like stock blues music. It wouldn't be good anymore. Tonight, it's uh, yeah, it's some shitty place. It's like oh. Jimi Hendrix. And you go, and people are like, yeah, man, I saw Hendrix last night. Yeah, he's kind of slowing down. Is he still good? He can still play. You know, he can still play. He can God, still play. But he's just a legend, the yeah. greatest guitarist ever, uh, because he died. Yeah. Uh, There's a couple of things coming in. Uh, the, uh, the douchiest Seeger song. Anyone want to guess it? 
douchiest. <laughs> I only know those two songs. <laughs> he got way douchier. I forgot about this until uh, Jason the Trucker fucking... Uh, uh, like a Rock? Oh! It's a movie you talk about a lot. It's in a movie you talk about a lot. Oh, yeah? Or from time to time. Oh, boy. Shakedown. Oh, yeah? Oh, that's Seeger? From uh, Beverly Hills Cop. Uh, I like that song. That's Seeger, yeah? Shakedown. Everybody. <laughs> oh, I like this song. It's pretty bad. <laughs> it's, you know, it's an 80s song. It is. You can hear it with that. Yeah. I, I never knew this was Seeger. You busted. Yeah. Right. Oh, my God. That, look at that picture of Seeger. He looks like the amazing Jonathan. <laughs> that is <laughs> fucking hilarious Holy looking. Shit. Look at him right there. Oh, man. Hear that? It completely changed the sound. <laughs> wow! Because it was all around him. Oh my God! Man. Look at him right there. That's you're, what you're right. You would like? never even know this is Seeger. No, no. Until he he steps it up a little. He has like amazing range in his voice. He looks like a happy. That's also that picture right there where he's wearing this like Nike fucking shirt that he <laughs> bought at Foot Locker. Uh, yeah. a Broncos shirt, no? But, like, it looks like a jogging sports shirt. Like, when there's a guy that's, like, like a scene-oriented like a scene -oriented musician, yeah. like like punk, blues rock, whatever, where there's a look that goes along with it, there's nothing sadder than when they get so old that they just start dressing like a dad. Oh, God, And they're just yeah, wearing the sweats and whatever, and you're like... Oh, boy. It's so sad, man. You're like, oh, it, just takes, it takes so much out of the music, you know? Get one of the older pictures of him, like like where he's oh, God. got dark hair. And we got inside Look info. Look at him right oh, there. Right he looks there. like oh, a man. fucking badass. Oh, man. That guy was getting a lot of pussy. He was getting some oh. ah, puss off. Hey, I got a guy. We got some inside info on uh, oh, yeah, that Seager. Uh, Scott in Detroit. Go ahead, Scott. Yeah, I was uh, I just in tour of photography work for Bob Seger this last, this last tour, and there was a real issue with his weight and with his teeth. If, for example, I shot the tour open. I took 1,600 images. After the show, I went backstage, production office. We went through all 1,600. They approved 10 images because if it showed his teeth or if he looked fat in the image, they could not use it. And then, and then on top Wait, of how bad is his teeth? Slow down. Oh, uh, real bad, bad. Get uh, go, 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 right. go that one. I, I, go that one right there I, in the middle. I want to see. Oh shit. Well, that looks like he's got the fake teeth there. No, does he? Well, you know, he they they want they've talked to him about getting his teeth fixed, and oh. he doesn't want to because he, he feels it's oh. going to affect the way he's saying. Oh, oh, yeah, his teeth are a little is, weird. You, you know, but I'm sure Anthony, you know. I mean, you know, when you sing, you're singing from the from the gut, from the throat. You're not using your teeth. I don't think that would affect the way his voice would no, sound. Maybe he's afraid he'll have a lisp or something. And, and he's a little know. fat these days. Yeah, he put on some weight. I, I, I told management, I said, well, "Why doesn't he put down the slice of pizza? Up, you know, instead of eating a, a whole pizza every day, why doesn't he?" See oh, the you're, you're bashing like, you're bashing him to management while you're trying well, to take the pictures. Well, he's frustrated. He, he, he took sixteen hundred pictures. Yeah, you sound like a real business strategist. <laughs> <laughs> Ten images. That was it. How does he sound? Sounds great. He puts on a hell of a show, man. It's hit after hit after hit. Right. But he's, he's just, you know, hate the soap. He's kind of an eyesore. You know what I mean? All right. Lose some weight, get your teeth fixed, and then he just maybe wow. he a pussy again. You Scott know? wants his rock stars to look pretty. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, shameless plug. Can 2012. Shameless plug? What? Can I give myself a shameless plug? Yeah, please do, because you're not going to be working for the fucking Seeger tour anymore. <laughs> in this fucking report, you're not going to be on. You're not going to be on the road again. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a rockstarprophotography.com. And actually, I just got shots of Bruce Springsteen up on my website from oh, Jazz Everyone has. Everyone's, Everyone's got the Bruce for us. Uh, Even I do. What did that sound like, you, uh, Sam? It was hard to hear. Really, uh, was it? What was yeah. it? I want to hear some uh, brand new uh, Bob Seeger live. I want to see what he sounds like these days. Against the wind. Oh, yeah, he did Against the Wind, too. That's right. That's Big old right. light show. Remember those light shows like that? Yeah. And the crowd goes wild. Oh, a little deeper. Sounds like me. I can't keep up. Is this someone's phone? Is this a phone?
Yeah, uh, something going on. Sounds like Tom Waits, but not on purpose. Like right. The way Tom Waits does yeah, it. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I think those years of screaming out, fucking let's, going to Kathmandu. <laughs> let's go to George Thurgood and find out what his problems are that led him to drinking with that fucking landlord. Oh, yeah, his, yeah. Oh, his, man, yeah. This pompous ass Dude. that had, had to have the long setup. <laughs> this song setup was so fucking long. Oh, do you? Oh that was bothering God. me that he says one bourbon, one scotch. It's like, why would you have a bourbon and a scotch? Yeah, and a beer. And to me, it'd be bourbon and... Right, and beer. Yeah, or scotch and beer. But wouldn't the be. song wouldn't sound the same. Let's try it. Oh, shit. Man. Listen to that awful voice he's doing. Yeah. Out the door he went. It's terrible. Now what happens? So I goes to the landlady. landlady. Yeah, I said, I said, uh, I said, uh, 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 uh step and fetch it now. I say, I say. <laughs> fucking voice he's doing. Jesus Christ. Boy's about as sharp as a second with mice. Here you go. Yeah. Is this with the Delaware destroyers? Ugh, Delaware. Exactly. He should flip those words around to destroy Delaware. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> We're admitted into the song. Yeah. Holy fuck. I, 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 we get it. You don't have the rent money. Look at this fat fucking Biff. <laughs> face. He is Biff Tannen. Holy shit, he's Biff Tannen. Yeah, look at that fucking... Wow. Who's sitting at a concert watching this and be like, yeah, yeah, I mean, just shut up. Get to the part where the band kicks in. He went out the door again. He doesn't have the rent money. He's out the door again. He's going to save two minutes on this. But he's tied. It's two minutes in. He's tied. Yeah, what happened there? I'll tell you, I'll tell you. You think like the people sitting there in the audience watching this and they know all the words and they're like, they're talking along with them? I bet you they're, yeah, I bet you they're all yelling it out in unison. Yeah, yeah. Two and a half minutes in. Oh, God, yeah, it's not. That lady. Oh, yeah. Story. And a boring story at that. It stink. Was she? Oh my god. Three minutes in. It's three minutes? This, is, this would have been a song already. You wouldn't even started the song. You would have been all the way up to the guitar solo by now. Holy fuck. Everyone at blues bands are always slipping out the back door. He's talking like Anthony Michael Hall in that weird science scene when they go to that black bar. Right, yeah, right, right. Yeah. It's Literally, put on. Yeah, it sounds like ridiculous the way he talks. Now he's at the bar. Three and a half minutes in. Oh, Yay, yeah. finally. Oh, my God. Yeah, is that what you want? Uh -huh. This song, this song should start right there. Right. Well, I appreciate that. This is like, this is, this would be a good live version, a little yeah. something different. But not the, not the version on the stupid record. It's like a, it's Eight like and a half an M. Night Shyamalan movie. You can, <laughs> like, the first time through, you're like, oh, I see what he did. And then never again. <laughs> yeah, you can't watch his movies uh, twice, huh? No, no you not, can't. No rewatchability no. there. He's another one that kind of fucking stinks. Yeah. No one's willing to acknowledge that, though. That's... I was really into him for the first few movies, and then I just... He lost me with signs, and then I never... He never got me back. Yeah. Mm. You know? God, that song is terrible. Ugh. Oh, shit, yeah. Story. Story, <laughs> story songs. Stories. We've done that he's on our show. Tell a good fucking story. Uh, tell, he's telling a story. We, we I hate story, story songs. songs. 
That fucking Alice's restaurant. Oh, God. And then I went, yeah, and yeah, there yeah, was yeah, Alice yeah. sitting at the restaurant, and I thought, all right. In I real time. Head. He's in, telling in the story in real time. Oh, man. And that, that other one. And, 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 and they cast off the bow line and went out. Wait, but that's 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 uh, Edmund Fitzgerald. No, I thought that was... Uh, Rick of the Edmund Fitzgerald. I thought that was our boy... Uh, Sundown. <laughs> <laughs> it? Another one, yeah. Gordon Lightfoot. That's we like Gordon. We, I Gordon we're all, Lightfoot. Yeah, we kind of like the side of Gordon. Gordon. In the room where you do what you don't confess. <laughs> What's going on in that room? Ass sex? <laughs> Fuck, what are you, blowing men? Do we have more? We don't confess that. <laughs> we have more story songs. <laughs> Any more story songs? Uh, Play stories. Uh, stories. How about uh, Nick? Uh, mine. Uh, oh, dude, Tom's Diner. No, not Times Diner. What's that Susan Vega? My name is Nico. Oh, Luca. Uh, Luca. <laughs> My name is Luca. I live on the second floor. I live uh, upstairs from you. Right. Guess then, you had never seen me before. And everybody always goes, anytime you talk about a song, somebody goes, you know that song's about rape. And it's like, <laughs> is it? Well... Rape is really fucking boring, apparently. <laughs> oh, I thought God. rape was violent and terrifying. Uh, <laughs> it's really <clears throat> slow-paced and fucking boring. I thought she just got fucking uh, abused. I thought she was, like, getting punched. Like her, I thought her family was, uh, like, yeah, right. like, physically abusing yeah, her, but not really? sexual. I didn't know it was sexual. Is that how you talked about getting abused? Would yeah. you at that fucking medium pace? Yeah, yeah. You'd be like, I, I didn't get fucking the It was, I swear. <laughs> she, she makes My it name all nice. is Anthony. I live on the second floor. I hate My dad's throwing spaghetti at the wall, I, I, and I have a stomachache. I hate those songs that uh, you, you never realize it was a horrific, horrific, fucking tragic song. It just oh, sounds yeah. so nice, and then someone has to point out, and you realize what that's about. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a few of those. James yeah. Taylor tells it. He's a story guy, too. Yeah, that's James true. Taylor tells his little stories. Can't get into them, man. So does uh, uh, Paul Simon. He's no, a story but, guy. But, but he doesn't, like, tell... He sings it, though, at least. Well, yeah. I'm talking about these guys that they're... They're kind of making believe they're singing, but oh, so that's a good one. Harry Chapin. Oh, Harry man. Chapin is a storyteller. Oh, he's that Harry motherfucker Chapin. will spin a yarn. <laughs> what about that dumb taxi song? Oh, Driving my in my taxi, taking tips and getting stoned. <laughs> <laughs> it was raining. It was raining. He gives us a weather report. Oh, I just needed one more fan. No, you don't. No, Harry, you go shut home. your fucking face. She said, Harry, keep the change. Oh, oh. God damn it. What is their oh. obsession with the common man that they abuse on a regular basis? <laughs> what is their fucking obsession with it? You don't think he's giving good tips? Well, uh, he's not doing anything these days, but when he was alive. And he he oh, my God. He died in a fiery fucking car accident on the Long Island Expressway. Expressway. Uh, yeah, he lost his head. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Right. Back to trailer versus. Guess he should have taken a cab. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was geez. driving home. How old was he when he died? That's terrible. I don't know. I would guess 42. 38. Uh, was he see, drunk? He looked a lot older than so. 38. He picked up his chick, his ex. He picked up a chick that he used to go out with, apparently. And, uh,. And, you know, she's very successful, and he's just driving a hack, man. Yep. And, you know, so it is they had real. a little chat about old times. He's just thinking about old times. Who gives a fuck? I know. I just picture every one of these guys getting, a, you know, like a fucking blowjob <laughs> as another woman spoons cocaine into their nose. <laughs> and they're just leaning back. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna... <laughs> Next song is going to be about taxi drivers, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, guys? <laughs> right. This whole fucking uh, team of yes men. That's fucking brilliant, Harry. That sounds good to me. <laughs> fucking uh, get out of here. You don't think they're the, just like the common man? <laughs> you don't believe that? And this is such a romantic. <laughs> version of a cab driver he's the white guy oh, he had this this uh, hopes and dreams and this life before but somehow he ended up in a I, cab well, I told uh, one of the stories on the air I had a cab driver that basically was telling me he was gonna kill himself so his family could collect the insurance money because his life sucked that bad and he's driving me and I'm thinking are you gonna kill me while I'm in the fuck Jesus Christ you're gonna kill man. yourself while I'm in this fucking thing it was the most depressing story ever and if you talk to these guys they work 20 hour shifts and then they have to get back in four hours to do another 20 hour shift yeah it's brutal and, and if they take a day off they lose their spot being a taxi driver sucks yeah oh, that's right he's gonna be a job. pilot what 
He was supposed to be a pilot. So what happened? Well, Harry Chapin? He, his eyes are bad? He took off to find the sky. He started smoking weed and doing drugs. Oh, boy. That's what happened. Oh, I got it now. Is he going to turn his life around by the no. end of the song? No, she gets out of the cab, and they that's it. They don't have anything in common anymore. They don't have those hopes and dreams. She made something of herself. He didn't. How about, uh, how about, uh, what's his face? Uh, bad, bad Leroy Brown? No. I like the Jim Croce. Jim Croce is another storyteller yeah, guy. Yeah, Croce's one. But no. that time in the bottle will make you fucking ball your eyes out. Yeah. What the I fuck is that about? Time in a bottle. <laughs> the first thing that I'd like to do. It's to save every day till eternity passes away just to spend them with you. Yeah, so, <laughs> some, some of these songs and singers will put you in that part of your brain that's just like that area you don't want to visit, all that like that oh, creepy area. Yeah, like, yeah. like the Carpenters yeah. would put you in that area. I don't yeah, like it. It's this. deeply depressing. I'm like, ah, fuck, yeah. I don't want to listen to this. It always like, makes me feel like when I was like six years old and yeah, I don't yeah, know, yeah. something weird about... You're learning about death the first time, yeah. and you just can't even just come terrible. close to yeah. wrapping your mind around it. It's like, why do you need time in a bottle? Isn't time, like, endless? Yeah. Don't we? Oh, wait a minute. That's right. Oh, that's this right. Is someone singing about fucking, there oh. isn't enough time to oh, do anything. Oh, that's right. He's basically oh, telling it. everyone that you're going to just get old, forget everybody, yeah. and die. Great. Oh. The cats in the cradle and the, and the silver, silver spoon. spoon. You know, all that shit. Little yeah. boy blue and the man in the moon. Oh, God. And the, the, he, the sun turned out to be just like his dad. Oh, did you? Oh, did, uh, uh, Awful video this is. Jim Croce. What about that? Uh, we had we had time. We had, we had joy. We, we had, had fun. Joy, we had, we fun. had seasons in, in the sun. sun. And that sounds like a nice little pop song. It's like about a guy dying. Oh, really? yeah. And this is basically his last fucking day. What was that other one? <laughs> Goodbye, my love. It's hard to die <laughs> yeah. when all the fucking shit is in the sky. Right. What song yeah, is this? Yeah, this one. Yeah. This one's terrible. It's the same song, I believe. Yeah. You know what I thought this was for a second? What? Wonderful Christmas time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Simply yeah. having. Yeah. Listen to these that words. Is. He's saying goodbye to everyone. He's dying. Jesus. This is terrible. <laughs> Who is this? Terry Jacks. Well, I knew that before you fucking whispered it in my ear. I know music. All these songs sound like they'd be the soundtrack to... Uh, like Harold and Maud, like that kind of movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nineteen seventy. Black comedy, kind of yeah. dark thing going on. Like a Heartbreak Kid. You know, all those, uh, all those old seventies, late seventies, yeah. like sort of dark comedies. What about what's his face? Out of time. Great. Do, 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 do. He's out of time. The guy that sings Toy Story. Goodbye, Papa. Papa, please pray for me. Yeah, Randy Newman. Randy Newman. He's another story guy. Yeah, yeah, he loves L.A. <laughs> why, why is this guy, guy dying? Does anyone know? I don't know. Is it the cancer? Why did Jim Croce die when he was 30? Yeah, plane crash. Plane crash. Joe, everyone knows he was that. another one of those plane crash guys. What about Joe Cocker? He's not really a storyteller, is he? No, I don't know. I, I just always, I'm thinking of him because of the Wonder Years song. Yeah. Who else uh, told horrible fucking stories? I think I got. You know how long Bruce Springsteen's, Bruce Springsteen's been around? Because we were talking about it yesterday, Aunt. How long? Guy tweeted me and said, I, uh, I was watching the Wonder Years, and they were going to a Bruce Springsteen concert. <laughs> wow. Jesus And then Christ. he goes, and I checked your Twitter, and you had that picture of Springsteen, and, and he realized, holy fuck, this guy's been around a long time. Oh, we Jesus. all know he's been around a long time, but that puts it in perspective. Jesus Christ. The Wonder Years. That's oh, my insane. God. Who did that song, Run, Joey, Run? Logan's bringing that up. Run, Joey, Run. It, it was a story about, like, that. Joey, yeah. apparently, um, what was he, fucking some chick? What's the story behind that? Do you do you have that one? Huh? Got it. Okay. Okay, here it is. You want to pot it up? Computer. Computer. Oh, sorry, sorry. Computer. Run, Joey, run. I don't know this. Who does this? This sounds super like uh, you were saying earlier, Tarantino. This sounds like a Tarantino, <laughs> you know.
Why does the video have fucking iPhone in it? <laughs> Something goes on. I think the father kills him or something. Oh my god. Or he kills the father. I don't know. It's a horrible song. Oh. <laughs> Run. Oh god. How awful. Very dramatic. And then this whiny piece of shit. Dude, you want to see something sad? I thank you for that. Thing. Can't listen to this anymore. You want to see something right. sad? Huh? You, sh you want to see something sad? What? Look at a look at a recent clip of uh, Yes. Remember how awesome Yes was in the seventies? Uh, yeah. Look at a recent clip of them. Bad. Oh, they're just so old and they look so I think fucking it's, lame. I think it's Steve oh, Howe. Looks like literally like a corpse with hair. Oh man. Like like like, like the like, crypt. Can you pull? Crypt oh wow. Yeah. Look. Can you pull? Is that Steve Howe on the left? Look at how fucking. They were all cool back in is. the day. We need a, we need the singer though. We need the. But guy aren't they like split up? So one is calling themselves. Uh, oh, fuck. What are they calling themselves? Just With the big keyboard set up. I think this is the fake yes. Yeah, this is it. We need the guy that actually sang Roundabout and all that. Well, that's yeah, John get a Anderson. real hit. Hey, hey, Sam, find one of their hits. <laughs> Sam has no idea who Sam, this band is. Yeah, Sam, yeah. name one yes song, please. Yeah, go ahead. Please. Except for the one, one that you just one yes fucking... Song. You could do this. No, I can't. I don't know any yes hits. You don't? You're panicking. You do. No, they got not. a big one, buddy. I don't know. You know, right? They got a real big one. That I'll you would probably, know. I probably know the song. Ready? But... I'll give you. I'll give you a hint. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Tom Sawyer. <laughs> Tom Sawyer. That's Tom Rush. Tom Sawyer. Oh. Rush still fucking rules. <laughs> oh, Rush holds still. I like Rush. Uh, no, no, not Tom Sawyer. Listen to me. <laughs> You're in Tom Sawyer there. <laughs> so no. I'll give you a movie hint. Okay. The breakup. I don't know. Sad. Oh God. Uh, what other hints can we get? Maybe we're just really old. Um, no, 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 no. Maybe we're just old. Lose uh, yourself. Uh, I mean, I know that song. That's Say, yes. That's, that's, okay, yes. but that's like a goofy song. Yeah, because like they got really shitty. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, was like, that was like late eighties. It's been around a long fucking they time. They were, I yeah. mean, they were such a good art rock band in the fucking I, 70s, and it's like, I've never seen a band slide off, like, worse than Yes. Double album, you'd fucking get or the Chicago. albums, all that artwork oh, in there. Oh, Chicago, yeah. please. I, oh, I, I saw Owner of a Lonely yeah, Heart. I, I, saw, there you go. I saw Yes in, in Buffalo back in, I think, around 1990, and John Anderson, and I didn't believe it at the time, but I saw it with my own eyes, he liked, he liked sleeping on the stage. <laughs> So the venues would allow him to sleep overnight in a tent on the stage. Oh, that was his thing that. for a while. I don't know if he's still doing it. Uh, why? <laughs> I saw the tent. Why would he do that? I don't That's know. A weird thing. Man, that was John Anderson. Dude, they... remember he sang for us in Vegas in front Did of like he? twenty people. Really? Acoustic. He was uh, involved with XM in the early days. And they brought him out to CES. You don't remember this? Oh, right. Okay. Yep. yep. And, and CES. in front of, I don't know, maybe 25, 30 people, he's uh, singing acoustic guest songs. He, uh, I saw, I watched a, a concert of theirs from like 2010. And he lit, like, he literally, he's so old. And, and, I mean, he's not so old. He's just an old, you know, he looks well, like a dad be, now. He's got to be close to 70 as well. And he's wearing, like, this ridiculous robe thing. Oh, like, God. Yeah. That's and he's him. dancing like this. He's going, he's going like this. Like, oh, during the song no. as he's singing. And it look, he looks like an old woman, like, conducting a church group or something. Oh. That's and you're bad. like, you're fucking yes. What are you doing? There's... You sang Heart of the Sunrise. What the fuck are you doing uh, right now? They're old. Oh, he's 68. Yeah. He, uh... Rush is almost, Rush is pushing 60, and their new album, I heard three tracks from it, it is fucking ridiculous. Really? A few people have said that. Amazing. A few people have said that. Imagine that, really. In the last few weeks. I can't believe it. Yeah. Like, it's unfucking real. They're, they still uh, rip, man. I, I, I'm kind of obsessed with these songs that you think are nice, fun loving songs. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, it's cool. You gotta and then they're just, you know, there's just nothing but tragedy in the song. Yeah, yeah. Tom Jones, uh, Jay in Staten Island. What do you got on Tom Jones? Delilah. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Delilah's. Uh... He's, he's stalking his girlfriend, and he sees her, he's, he's been screwing around. And then uh, he leaves. 
Watch. He comes up and, and, see, and sees the, the girl, and the girl laughs his face, and he stabs her. I yeah. like this song. This is a good song. <laughs> and he yeah. stabs her. Tom Jones was the shit. Did you hear that masterful? That was masterful, the way he said, and then he stabs her, the way you faded the music in. Ah, it's perfect. That, that, sounded, that was perfection. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes we just luck out. This, uh, this guy's voice is fucking great. You know L- listen to the power here. He's just got, like, that fucking kick-ass voice. Oh, excuse me. He sings the way I always imagined Zorro would sing. There's horns. Mexican horns. Uh, what happened? My parents had Tom Jones albums. <laughs> yes. I know I did this was about stabbing. Oh yeah, he, he comes bitch. in later later no, on. He, he catches her fucking around. Yeah. He goes to the door and she's laughing at him. And he fucking just stabs her. And then he waits for the cops, I guess, or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> something. Mm, killed her. Uh, another story song coming in. Billy, don't we be on a- the floor with Jesse Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, don't be a hero. Billy, don't be a hero. Yeah. Is a story song. And then there's the the Billy Joe McAllister jumped off the Tallahassee oh, Bridge God. or something. <laughs> Isn't that the Vicky Lawrence song? Yes, right. Uh. It was a Vicky Lawrence. She also sang "The Night the Lights Went Out in oh, Georgia." Oh, that's right? the one. The that's night, the one. Yeah. Right, yeah. That's the one from. You know, it, it's the first time I realized that she she killed the husband. Right, I thought, right. Aunt, what the fuck does he say at Reservoir Dog? What's he say? Yes. I no, thought, I thought Annie shot the husband. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that the line? All right. Whoa, this guy's groovy. <laughs> Is there wow. any way to find out what he says in Reservoir Dog? Yeah. Yeah, we'll f- I thought find that. I th- I thought Annie shot her. Annie shot. Her. No, no, God, no. Dude, it was the, the other. It was. <laughs> yeah. No, she was warning him. <laughs> Do you remember that? Oh, okay. yeah. I really don't. Have that diner seat. Yeah. I can't, I'm, I'm driving over here. I'm listening to K Billy Super Sounds of the 70s. <laughs> K <Yeah>. Billy. <laughs> the night the lights went out in Georgia comes on. Oh, it's a good song. And they're like, oh yeah, that's a good song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good song. <laughs> yeah, it's my first time I ever realized that she's the one that killed a- <laughs> whatever the fuck the guy's name is. God damn it, that's driving me crazy. Uh, that's, no, that's the uh, that's, that's the famous. It's a diner scene. Fucking scene. You ain't gonna get that, that one. That diner scene is amazing. Oh, it's the the fuck fucking. Oh. Best. Now I gotta watch this movie over the weekend. There we go. That's the tip. That's tip. I don't tip. I don't tip. Uh, there you go. Dining with Reservoir Dogs. King fucking clip on time. When the AV Club travels. Oh, we... oh, commercial. Dude, they're they're the worst with these commercials. Oh man. yeah. Oh no, that's bullshit anyway. Oh, it's oh bullshit. boy. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. Oh, yeah. You're bullshit. No, no, no. All right. Bullshit. No, this is uh, no. That's a dress. Hey, she's following you. It's the, it's the, it was the T-Mobile girl. <laughs> She was just her commercial. <laughs> but uh, give you the tipping part. Yeah. Uh, we could maybe get it after the break. Right. It's break time. Yeah, we'll take a little break. Joe, are you promoting around. anything besides uh, good health for your mom? Yes. You are? Yeah. What do you got? Well, a cup, two things, if I may. Uh, at, well, t- Memorial Day weekend, I got a lot going on. There's, uh, I have three shows at Caroline's that Memorial Day week. Uh, the Wednesday before, the Thursday before, and the Sunday before, I'm doing headlining shows at Caroline's. Um, so please come out to those. And the web series pilot that Anthony was in oh, that yes. I shot that w- that actually comes out that week as well. That's nice. coming out that week. Nice. So, um, so I'll have more details on that to come. But it's going to be on the Warner Sound, which is Warner Brothers Records' new YouTube channel. Um, so that week there's a lot happening. So come out to those shows and watch that when it all happens. Please. Yes, very good. All right, we're going to break Psyched. here. Chop chop. This is the Opie and Anthony channel. Serious XM. Let's see how this comes out. Towels. All right. They're right there. All right, here we go. I got a break. Ah, this is nice. This is a story about a man. And he always was so lonely at night. Rowdy, you can hear it all through this train station. And I'm gonna sing this one. This is about Tippy Toe Tommy. 
Got Joe DeRosa hanging with us today. Thank you. And uh, we're just chilling, man. Yeah, man. We're just, just chilling. Hanging loose. Trying to get to the weekend like loose everybody show. else, man. Just ready to fucking <clears throat> get some dick. I just I had a great coughing fucking episode there, and I don't even know what the what? fuck that was. Oh, oh wait, what? <laughs> I just, <laughs> just slid it in. That was good. <laughs> I didn't just slid it in already. Right, I didn't yeah. even notice. <laughs> oh uh, we got the tan mom. The tan mom. You, you don't know about tan no, yeah, mom? Yeah, with the daughter. Putting her kid in the fucking oven. Yeah. To get it tan. Uh, yeah. Burnt well, the kid. Yeah. Are they going to be able to prove that uh, the kid went tanning, tanning? Uh, Well, um, mom's she, saying that mom's she just got a no. sunburn uh, from being outside. Being outside. and uh, But the kid said, yeah, I went tanning with my mom. And uh, the mom is a fucking psychopath. Uh, she, she's got this tan that's just bizarre. She looks like... She got frostbite on her face. That's <laughs> yeah. how bad it is. Yeah, she doesn't look good. It's not a nice tan. She says, you're all just jealous. Yeah. You're look, all the, just jealous. If the tanning salon had no rules against the kid going in, what's the problem? Exactly. I don't see how that's uh, really, I don't know, is that abuse? <laughs> Because they're, they're no, it's they not. Charge. People have to stick their fucking noses and everything. A six-year-old in a tanning bed? What's wrong with you guys? Well, listen, I'm not saying I don't it's... give a fuck because I don't know yeah. these people, but it doesn't sound too fucking healthy. I'm not saying it's good to put a six-year-old in a tanning bed, but I'm saying like if the tanning salon didn't stop it, I guess clearly there's no I... rule against it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it all depends. Too. I, I, you know what? I might just change my opinion on on the spot. Like, you know. It, Kids are very curious about everything, so you go to the tanning salon, she gets the full fucking tanning thing, and maybe the kid's like, oh, you know, and the, all right, I'll put her in there for a minute. You no, know what they, I mean? Maybe a minute just so she could check it out. I could see something like that. They fucking Certainly. let the kids run around the beach and shit yeah, and get yeah. sunburn, you know? It's... Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, yeah. It's it's really no it's really no different they, from that. They did a whole suntan thing on the news yesterday. You know, we're supposed to be wearing suntan lotion all year round. Really? To be safe. I don't buy that at all. And they say that uh, the FDA doesn't acknowledge uh, waterproof um, tanning lotions. That's really? all bullshit, too. What does that mean? The FDA doesn't acknowledge that as a term, waterproof. Oh, because it comes off. Yeah, but the, some of these fucking, companies, you know, burnt. they make a lotion where they say <laughs> waterproof or whatever. I don't even wear it in the summer. When no, I go to the beach, I, I, I rarely wear it. Rarely do. I just fucking tan. You're lucky, though. You got the darker skin, I think. Yeah. yeah. That's I, what I got there. I've been sunburned once in my life, ever. Really? Once. Why? Why? Why only once? It only happened once. I don't know. But you don't wear lotion. I know. What do you walk around in a parka? I uh, I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't. Even, I'm more per perplexed by why it happened one the one time than why I don't get. Because that's how much I don't ever get sunburned. You, so the one time it did happen, I'm like, that's weird. You, Why'd that happen? You've never had it so bad that you can't take a shower? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the one time I had worst. it was bad, but I don't know what bad is. So to me, anything would have been bad. So you, know? you choose not to shower for at least three or four days? Yeah. Oh, my God. Really? Uh, you've never had it that bad? 
No, I only had it the one time. Oh, it's brutal. <laughs> is it like having like poison ivy? No. No, it's, I don't mean uh, like. Does it feel like that? It's, it's like mean, having extremely dry skin. <laughs> it's like dry and tight, and it, tight. if you smack it or scratch tight. it, like sometimes you forget oh. at first, and you're like, "Oh, I got an itch," and you'll scratch your arm, and then like five seconds later, this deep fucking pain just sets in. Brutal. Uh, it's that's really Jersey, weird that delay. Jersey State law can't tan under fourteen. Oh, but I'm thinking if if it's like a bring your kid to work type <clears throat> of situation where you might let bring him try your kid it. To tan, you know, I'll just try it yeah. out. Just yeah. I could see that maybe. Well, why did the salon let the kid in? We don't know. Yeah, exactly. I, have right. they talked? Maybe to... the mom was saying like, "Oh, my kid's going to sit here in the room, but not in the tanning bed." Oh, uh, okay. That yeah. And that's what the mom is saying, that she well, took her to the tanning salon, but not we, in the bed. And I'm sure we could do a whole bit on people's kids getting them in trouble because the kids uh, can't yeah. can explain themselves. They don't know how to shut the fuck up. They can't explain themselves yet. So they'll say kid, one little thing. It's like, what? This kid went into school, right. and one of the teachers noticed the kid had a sunburn and said, what happened? And the kid went, I went to tanning with mommy. I went, yeah, And, and she said she went in the tanning booth and everything and and got uh, burned and then the of course the teachers call the cops now and you're oh. in fucking trouble they call the cops for and, everything uh, jesus christ it's ridiculous i, I, I thank god that uh, or not god because i don't believe in him but uh, i think whatever that uh i grew up in a different time than this because yeah. i remember my mom <laughs> she was like i was i was going up the stairs and she was like tapping my ass be like you know, Ooh. speed it up a little bit, <laughs> and I put my hand back. Like we were, but we were joking around. I was really young, and she accidentally <clears throat> broke my finger. Like she swatted oh, it by accident. You know, but it was an accident. I knew it was an accident. Yeah. So, and you know, but I went to school with the cast on, and they were like, "What happened to your finger?" And I was like, "My mom broke my finger." But like, because I didn't know how to say it right. right. Yeah, of course. And that would be enough dumb. to call the cops now. Yeah. Like, thank God they were like. We know that your mom didn't, you know, yeah. they, like, took a minute and But now it out. child welfare would be there and the cops. So and, ridiculous. And you wouldn't yeah. be able to explain how the broken finger happened. Nope. So to anyone looking in, they're like, holy fuck. Fucking police your state. Mom sucks. Miserable people that have nothing really better is. to do but fuck with other people. It's They're, they're just fucking miserable. Well, here's the tanning uh, lady. Yeah. She's saying you're all jealous that she looked good. <laughs> I would never, never put my daughter in a tanning booth. No, I believe you. We go out shopping. Yeah. That's what we do. She I don't want to hear any more about this. And anyone that makes, any mother that makes, makes an accusation about me is not a mother because I'm a great mother and I would never do that to my child. Do you think there's some kind of witch hunt out against you? Yes. Yes. Why do you think that is? There's somebody out there on my whole life that doesn't like me because they're jealous, they're fat, and they're ugly. Hey, are you going to stop going to salons yourself or are you going to keep going? <laughs> she sounds drunk, too. She right? does. Yeah, She's like yeah. slurring. I, I don't know if she is. She's That'd a disaster. Be... That'd be the bigger concern to me is that she's possibly fucking inebriated. Yeah. She look that that look is frightening. Yeah, she looks she's like dog so shit. tanned. But it's not tan, it's like it's leathery. Yeah. You see those leathery women at the beach. Oh my god. She looks sunburnt. Yeah, sunburnt. Just I think Anne nailed it. She looks uh frostbite. Frostbite. She had frostbite. <laughs> and that isn't even the darkest I've seen pictures of her. Oh, are you going to stop going to salons yourself? Or are you going salons. To keep going? Who's that lady clapping? Going, you go, girl. Oh, Did, really? Man. Someone said that? Yeah, you can hear what she goes. Because they're jealous, because they're fat, they're ugly. There's some lady clapping. Going, you, you go, go girl. girl. Mm. That's great. It's mm. hilarious. That's wonderful. I know we, we're moving on from music, but um, masks, masks uh, underscore menace writes, Ever hear how much smells like teen spirit sounds like Boston's more than a feeling? I've heard this over the years. Yeah. Is there any way to, to yeah. go through that really yeah. fast? Uh, Is there maybe a YouTube clip or something that kind of compares the two? That would be nice. Something like that, like an A-B kind of thing? I'm not feeling it. I don't think that it sounds I, like I'm that. not feeling it at all. I know Kurt liked Boston. The, 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 he was into all that type of uh, rock and roll when he was growing up. But the story behind Smells Like Teen Spirit is they said they were like, it sounded so much like a Pixies song to them that they uh, that they almost didn't want to put it on the album because they felt like they were <clears throat> ripping off the Pixies. Oh, really? And they said when Butch Vig did the mix, it was different enough that they were like, all right, whatever. And then it became this fucking ridiculous. Oh, was there a... Oh, what, did they do it live or something? Yeah, they did like a... 
Hold on. What does it go back up? Is this worth playing or? This works. This is a good. This works. All right. Thank you. Okay. It's Kurt. Is this from 92? Underwhelmed, a little bit. also yeah. exactly. <laughs> that was a underwhelming. Something there. Yeah, you were able to fit the words in, but yeah. the music didn't really sound like it. Uh, I yeah. want to hear some of Jada Pinkett's uh, stuff. Do you have that? Oh yeah, there oh, it is. Boy. Right, this, this is a rough. This Joe is a rough. Was, what's the story on this? Joe, you told us during the break. She's the got a metal there. band called Wicked Wisdom, and <laughs> and like they she they go around and she she does not have it announced that it's her. Uh -huh. You know, like on the like the, on the clips I've seen, at least on the late night shows and stuff. This is from Letterman, and I I, I believe he just says he just introduces them like this band. Really? And then it's confusing because you're like this band stinks. <laughs> Who is this? That singer looks like Jada Pinkett, <laughs> <laughs> and no one knows. <laughs> There's also a lot of comments about waiting for about two minutes into the choreographed head banging. Oh, really? Yeah, it's yeah. it's really well, a lot cheesy. Of dislikes. But she's like a forty something year old woman, so it's like I yeah. you know I get. What are you I don't doing? Know. Yeah, so. let us see that. Oh boy, let's see that one. This would get into the Black Rock Coalition, by the way. Uh. Oh, this is embarrassing. Yeah. Something inside of me is pissed. Oh. Terrible, right? Awesome. Uh, this sucks. It's terrible. It's so weird. When did um, the choreograph isn't, isn't that the chick from The Matrix? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's and she's so fucking hot, and it's like she's like making herself look so unattractive. Like everything she's doing, it's like, are you trying to not look? Uh, hot? She looks boyish, oh. right? Oh. Oh. It's not even to me like how she's dressed as much as like these movements. It's like it's like it, it's they're, yeah. What are you doing? Wow, she's really oh, wow. pissed off. Oh, the choreographed head banging. Oh, oh man, this is embarrassing. Jesus Christ. Oh. You gotta work really hard to make music shittier than your husband's music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would rather listen to. The men in black fucking rap. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh, this is oh, embarrassing. My God. They're, Stop it. They're like, they're like bowing over with their heads, and now she's like jumping around. All their heads are moving in the same, same motion. It, it's so no, it's, it's terrible. Like, yeah, they had they had somebody there being like they had a choreographer. Yeah, because you know you got here and and now they're all shaking their heads what? and they look silly and she looks ridiculous. Yeah, the whole thing is like the chorus is just her saying she's pissed. She's wearing a oh. Seven Dust T-shirt because she thinks that's what metalheads would wear. It's cool, and they would talk about being pissed. I'm just amazed she likes this type of music. 
I'm really confused. I know. Uh, this like, is how did all you... confusing. But when I heard she had a band, I was like, oh, that's hot, man. That's going to be really fun. But what got her to this point where she likes this type of music so much, she tried to do it herself? Uh, really strange. I guess she's a metal fan. Uh, she was always like... She was always like had that kind of kind of like metally vibe to her. She always had yeah. the tattoos before that That's shit true. was cool. And it's not that bad. Uh, Opie, it's it terrible. Sucks. It's, it's, it's not, terrible. It's, it's not that bad. Something that's out of bed. It's pissed, Are you is saying it? this to get a rise out of us? No. Somehow I'm not feeling her real anger. I, I'm not going to. Sorry. I'm not going to. She is a tiny little thing, isn't I, she? I'm kind of amazed yeah. that she almost pulls it off. She does I, it almost. No, off. it's every it's really every that part bad. of that is awful. She's nowhere near the mark. It's hey, man. terrible, man. L Letterman would never just put a band on like that. It's not yeah, that Jada bad. Pinkett. I know what you're doing. I'm not I'm biting on it. You already bit. You already bit. I know. You're already nibbled. I'm, 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 I'm reneging bad. my bite. <laughs> I'm pulling back off my bite. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna? You wanna? Um, Hear that guy with the clouds again, but we have a new one. A new cloud guy. Um, Did you hear the cloud guy on the way in? Uh, no, no, the, I the couldn't. Square shaped cloud. No, I didn't hear that. He uh, he makes clouds. Uh, I don't know. Shape Change shape. shape with his mind. Oh, he's really? amazing. Yeah, yeah. He's fucking awesome. Man, he's stupid. And he looks up and he goes, you change the shape of the clue. Clued. Yeah. Who is uh, he? Clue. You gotta see these videos. They're fucked up. All right. Yeah. Just how he talks, but Danny got another one. But he's really he's got a lot of these, so he's changing the shape of another clue. <laughs> but wait, is he a, is he a n lunatic or is it somebody that people think is actually doing this? I think he's got a little uh, little thing going on, a little following. I think he looks at some clouds, sees what shape it turns into, then he, and then he fucking records the audio and uh, makes it look like he's actually doing it. I don't. But it's not about oh, that. Wow. It's you about his voice, dude. I never even thought of that. I said that yesterday. I must I not have heard it yesterday. It. Because the cloud he was talking about yesterday actually kind of turned into a square sheep clue. <laughs> That's amazing. So you keep the, the ambiance going by leaving the camera out there. You wait for the fucking uh, <clears throat> cloud to do what it's going to do, and then you record your audio. Yeah, because why isn't he in the video? Well, he that's should the be giveaway, in the video right? saying that. Yeah. They're going to make the clue. Because I think he wants people to be amazed like he has some kind of weird power. But we're obsessed with how uh -huh. he sounds. Yeah. All right. Square sheep clue. All right. Yeah, that would be easy to do. You know that. Oh, God, that's amazing. I what? what? Thought, I never thought of that. He, he puts the sound in later, and it, he looks like a fucking uh, amazing, Genius. magical oh. guy. Clued. All, All right. right. Here, here is a new one. We played the square shape clued yesterday. This one has something to do with a hole. Oh. This video is being recorded by T. Chase. <laughs> <laughs> I'm recording this. Recording this in September 2011. This is a psychokinesis weather control video by T. Chase, where I'm able to uh, control clouds and wind. In this case, I'm going to try to attempt to make holes in a cloud by psychic energy. See, I'm training the camera now on this cloud. You can see more on my website on this, but I'm going to try to make a hole in this cloud by psychic power as you watch. Make a hole in this cloud I'm looking at here now. Hole. Make a hole in the cloud. Make a hole in the cloud. <laughs> why is he talking like that? I try to make that's why we play these. We I don't, don't know. know why he's doing that. Make a hole in the cloud. I, I don't think he has confidence in what he's doing. That's why I keep saying the cloud we're looking at now that's like subliminal yeah. in his mind like yeah, oh fuck yeah. you know because yeah. i don't think you would say that is that yeah it's, is that part of his process to, to start talking like that i guess yeah it we, is it's part of his magical him. process huh? we don't know anything about it's part of his magic <laughs> yeah you <laughs> try to make a hole in this cloud Make a hole in the cloud <laughs> enlarge in the hole in the cloud <laughs> <laughs> so breathing. Yeah. Make a hole in the cloud. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> an asshole. 
Make a hole in the clues. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Oh, look, he's doing it. Enlarging the hole in the clues. Make a hole in the, make a hole in the clude. 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 Make a hole in the clean. Enlightenly hole in the clean. Enlightenly hole in the clean. Make a hole in the clean. Make a hole in the clean. Make the hole grow big good. Make a hole in the clean. Make a hole in the clean. Make the hole grow large. Make a hole in the clean. 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 That's so funny. Why is he saying that? Make a hole in the clean. 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 A hole in his head. Make a hole in the clean. Make the hole grow lady. Make a hole in the clean. Make a Who's crying? Do you hear the person crying? Make a hole in the clean. What's that about? Scaring the kids all around. See the hole in the cloud. Dude, he goes into a fucking. He goes into a little trance. Uh, people want Roland to imitate this guy. Roland. How was that sleepover? Was good. You slept over. Roland. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna mind me saying this uh, on the radio. Oh, uh oh. He's Maybe good. I should wait. He's a good host. He's a great host. He's a great host. He was super kind. He, uh, I don't know if I should say this. Oh my you God! He no, snores. It's fine. He snores worse than. Oh yeah, we uh, all know that. Oh, yeah. oh, you do? Because I he snores yeah, yeah, yeah. in movies. I recorded it. Wow! <laughs> oh what? shit! Oh shit! What are you gonna tell us? <clears throat> all right. I was so awake and <laughs> laughing so hard in the bed that I started recording. Wow! I've been trying to get his snore on tape forever, oh, but it's usually I... at movies where they're looking for your uh, phones and stuff. I have four recordings of it on my phone. Wow! And, uh, but they're it's like it's like ghost hunters. Like it's moments, it's long periods of silence. <laughs> yeah. It's dead quiet, and all of a sudden you hear like. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, well, yeah. Let, let's uh, let's uh, get that on the radio. Yeah. Should we give it to Troy Kwan? Troy Kwan. Troy Kwan could edit that shit out, so we could get to the uh, the meat of it. <laughs> I uh, I have uh, I have it on my email. I can just forward it. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's listen to Rulin Snoo. What, is he going to get pissed if I do this? Let's listen to Rulin Snoo. Oh, Jesus, that scared <clears> me. Snuck up Are on you going to get mad if I do this? <laughs> Go for it, uh. Carl B. Toad. No, I'm serious. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, I'm, I'm really serious. I'm not going to send it if you're going to get mad. Is this uh, Angry all Panda? Hear, all I hear is gay, gay, gay. What was that? <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Man. See, I told you. <laughs> you got to watch all of No, He's seriously. Mood. Is this going to make you angry? Because <laughs> no, no. I, won't, I won't send it if it'll make you I swear to God, I won't send it. That's fine. Yeah. He's, Are you angry today? No, he's mad. What happened? Oh, no, 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 Joe. What no, happened no, no, today? No. Wow, you're angry panda today. I can see in your yes. eyes. Yeah, I'm not going to send it. No, 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 you can do it. No, no, that's fine. That's not that. What are you mad at? What are you mad at? <laughs> Is it us? No, 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 nothing to do with Is here. Is it him? No, 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 nothing to do with here. Oh. I can tell you've been in a well, pissy maybe. mood since we got yeah, here. Yeah, what is it, man? What happened? You were all giggles in the fucking cab on the way over. You look pissed. What happened? He is. You know why? what it is? Yep. Is it worth talking about in the air? Yep. God, let's Ooh. go. Does that have anything to do with? No. <laughs> I, I, just, <laughs> I just keep fucking looking over there. But you would assume. Yeah, what, uh, you could assume. <laughs> I, I just want to bring it up on the air. You don't? No. Oh, what that it, sounds is juicy. It, is it work-related? Sort of. Yep. 
Yes. Oh, Roland, let's get into this. Is, what it, happened? is it management? No. no. <clears throat> is it uh, one of our coworkers? No. Not technically. Somebody in the building? Yep. Yeah. Is it a lady? No. no. Is it... Um, it's just when you're joking around the office and somebody you don't know whacks you in the back of the head thinking it's all right, I'm going to grab your fucking throat. Don't fuck with me. Wow. Don't wow. fuck me. Yeah. Who oh, we're just joking. I know who the fuck you are, you dumb motherfucker. Go fuck yourself and fuck your stupid kids. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Wow, Roland. But other than that, I'm fantastic. Wow. Yeah, Roland doesn't fucking play. I know, I in know. That's end, why man. I was scared to bring this guy no, around. No, when you joke around, it's fine, but when you smack a person back of the head. Well, how, gonna... did, what, how did it go down? What happened? Yeah. In the office, joking around with Mars and Sal and some other guy who Mars works with was like, yeah, whack. Right back in my head. Oh, I was like, shit. Whoosh. Who was it? Just choking someone out. You started choking him? No, I choking. I grabbed his shirt. I said, what the fuck are you doing, you dumb motherfucker? Wow. Mm, nice. Hey, he struck first. Yeah, he did. So I went, who is it? You don't fuck don't with Roland. Name names on the... Cause... Well, he's one of Mars's co-workers. Uh-huh. Oh. In his department. Yeah, someone waxed me. I was like, fine. And then How I long ago did that happen? <laughs> An hour or so. Damn. That's why he's still got negative panda energy. Yeah, yeah. you do yeah. negative. I could tell he was negative. mad when he came in during the break. And I was yes. like, what are you doing tonight? He's like, I don't fucking know. I gotta go get dinner with my friend. Yeah, and I was like, pissed. oh, you're yeah. uh, you know, a joke. But just when someone waxed me back in oh, the head, yeah. I turned crazy. Oh, yeah. Wow. You want me to go take this guy on? Oh, no. I, <clears throat> I, I sent my message a lot. Of time. Need him worked over a little bit? No, I got it. I'm good. You got it? Yeah. I, I sent my words to We'll take to care him. of shit for you. But what about if Anthony uh, breathe on him and give him that fucking throat <laughs> cancer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no. The like joke, joke will play that thing. I'm not mad at that. I mean, that's nothing. No. Uh, right, let's play yeah, that. I love you guys. So that's well, fine. I wasn't. Here's. Let me. I, I want to explain this to you because you were know, so, an incredible fucking host last night. Really unbelievable. I'm serious. I'm so grateful. And I, in fact, told my mom, I said, this guy from the show is so nice. He's let me stay Aww. in his place. And, and my apartment is clean. And I, just have a, I just have a dirty desk because it makes people super. Angry. Clean oh. apartment smells good. Like I don't mean like it smells good. Like it would smell bad. I mean like it smells like fresh and rosy in Ooh, there. Nice. But um, laundry smell. Nice. <laughs> laundry smell. But the only reason I taped it, you snoring, was not to be like a devious cunt. Like I'm gonna tape my oh. snoring because it's embarrassing. I taped it because I was like, just in case the guys know that he already snores and this is a joke, You'll I want to have, have this on tape. Very good. And if it's not cool, then I won't oh, do no. it. And then as soon as they said. Oh, we all fucking know that. I was like, okay, well, yeah. I, I have audio of it. I know. Oh, my, my mom recorded me before, my brother, so it's like, it's, it's Oh, I'd love it's to hear there. it. And you always wake up when I'm trying to record you. Yeah, you're, because you're paranoid because when like you're sense, around me. Because I sense you I think he camp. senses me. Yeah. He's also to wake up yeah. and, and, and turn I, his head real fast yeah. at me. Who do I forward this to? Yeah. 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 What's your email? Let me write it in. Well, we might Dick work. bag at. I have four of them, but the fourth Sad. one is the best one. That's the most consistent. Oh, so let's nice. just go with the fourth one. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Cool. Oh. And you can, if you, if you listen closely, you can hear me laughing in the bed. Uh, <laughs> like, I stay there la really laughing. And then I got up at one point to like try to come in the room to record. Or not come in the room, but stand oh, in the wow. door. Oh, Joe, what's in, that about? Uh, stand in the little, door with a hammer like uh, sling blade? Yeah. A the little middle, was, was a my, little uh, middle of the night visit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. My pants were down, oh, so I couldn't. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, what do we got here? Why don't you come on in, Joe DeRosa? <laughs> Roland taps this corner of the bed. Did you wait till the message loaded? Yeah. Before I go to bed, I do my yoga. I hear people downstairs talking. I just scream at them to shut up. Yeah, you can't to scream if you're doing yoga. Well, that's my YouTube version of yoga. <laughs> you talk. He's to... all angry during yoga. You <laughs> yell crazy things when you're sleeping sometimes too. Oh my god! <laughs> you heard all this? <laughs> yeah, I didn't get that <laughs> on just tape. Night terrors. <laughs> they have night terrors. What is he yeah, doing? I don't know, dude. Scared night the terror. shit out of me though. <laughs> What's going on at Roland's house, man? What's going on in his mind? Fuck his house. Yeah, he like yelled out he? some mumbly shit when he was oh sleeping. And I, I was like, yeah, that's what it Bruce, sounded like. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. And he also does like I think you can hear a little bit on here. Like you snore like the way like the Three Stooges snore. Like when you exhale, you're literally like. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have sleep apnea? Uh, I think you might be a candidate for it, but I think you should get checked, man. Yeah, I got through it. I'm good. You got a hard snore because you don't snore. Hard snore. You don't snore consistently, which is what would scare me about it. 
it sounds like it gets disrupted. It's, it sounds like disrupted, disruptive, excuse me, like mm. like you're breathing and then all of a sudden it gets Stop interrupted. Breathing. Yeah, yeah. And then there's like That's some... apnea. Yeah. That's sleep apnea. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. Yeah, it's good well, thing. I don't want you to die in your sleep, man. I won't. The alcohol will preserve me. <laughs> All right, well, we'll Do you have it there? Yeah, I'm just scanning through it. I think it's two minutes, but I think there's a good amount on there. I kind of like the tension of uh, the right. silence. Yeah, yeah, I kind of want to hear. Wait, the whole track's two minutes. Fuck it. Let's just go with it. Let's, Let's go, go with it. Fill up the. We'll fill up uh, the dead air. Because it does. It. it feels like it feels very ghost hunters. Yeah, yeah. All right. No, it's from the bedroom, so... It's not that far, yeah, okay. It echoes, because I have no furniture. Oh. Okay. Just... <laughs> 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 Ghostly. <laughs> there's, I think there's more. He should have got up and went to the door. I have one from the door. Hold on, I'll send Oh, you do? Yeah, let me see. I <laughs> <laughs> Last one was pretty loud from the other room. Jesus Christ! Holy this shit. one, this this other one, I. Yeah. How did you sleep? <laughs> I did it. <laughs> fucking sleep. I did it. I slept for on. like ninety minutes. He, he wow. Possessed. That's a racket. <laughs> or. If, or it's like an animal sleeping. Wow, dude. Holy fuck. I slept That's for like 90 snore. minutes. I, and I just was too lazy to shut the door. Like, I just was like, oh, fuck yeah, fuck it. Who cares? We got this far. If I would have shut the door, I would have been fine. Wow. Damn. <laughs> That's loud. Yeah. This, uh, this is the one from the door, so it's a little louder, I oh. think. Did you? Did we miss any, Sam? Nah, not really. All right. Waiting. So, it's very intermittent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's not like one of those. That's when he stops breathing. Consistent snore. Yeah, that's guys. why I think you should get tested. AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> it's always AIDS. <laughs> Use that noise in monster movies. Yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> that would literally scare me. Like I would be scared in the room. It's nighttime, you hear him. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Frightening. <laughs> <laughs> Petrifying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And through rolling snore. <laughs> Are you talking? Did you say Bruce? <laughs> Bruce. <laughs> it sounds like... <laughs> 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 it's 
very animal like, yeah. <laughs> I know, and it sounds like he's talking during the exhales, right? Yeah. yeah. It sounds like he's like whispering in tongues or something. Yeah, speaking in tongues. It's all the people who pissed me off throughout the day. Wow. Wow. All right. I, wow. Uh, Wowie kazowie. Yeah, I felt uh, violating if I would have like actually gone in. I was standing in the bedroom for the first one. The doorway in the bedroom for the first one, but my shadow was just getting projected on the wall. It's like if he wakes up uh, and yeah. sees, sees the, the shadow, shadow. He's standing in the door. That is creepy, right there. <laughs> yeah, two so. just scaring the shit out of each other. <laughs> Holy shit! But dude, uh, fucking uh, credit to the iPhone and the VR recording app. I was recording that from the bed in the bedroom. Around you were around the wall in the living room on a couch against the far wall, and it still came it out echoes, that yeah. fucking clear. That's what, amazing. You gave to him me. your bed. Yeah. What a nice guy. Yeah, he wanted and, the couch. And fresh sheets. <laughs> fresh wow. sheets. What a nice host. That is pretty New nice. New towel. Man. New towel. Nice. Soap without pubic hair? <laughs> He's got the pump. The pumps. Oh, oh, man. He's got the pump. Nothing wrong with the wow, pumps. Wow, the pump soap. Yeah, because I don't like bar soap. So nice. Me. All right. We'll uh, we'll take a break. Joe, what are we uh, promoting again? Caroline's around Memorial Day weekend. I know that. Caroline's, yeah. The Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday of Memorial Day weekend. I will be there. Three shows. Please come out to check that out. Uh, my web short. Also starring Anthony Cumia will oh, be yes. debuting that week uh, on the Warner Sound very channel on I saw YouTube. It. I saw it and uh, I it. thought it was very funny. Joe DeRosa is hilarious. Uh, it, you were it, hilarious. It, oh, sir, you were hilarious. Thank you. I love how maniacal you are. You're just like fucking... <laughs> You're so into it. It's great. So, uh, yeah, so that's coming out. I'm also doing a, a part of a fundraiser tomorrow night in Jersey oh, for uh, no, with Vinny Brand for the uh, for the Salvation Army at the College of The New Human Jersey. Fund. The Salvation Army. Before oh, Christmas? Man. You know, yeah. I, it, what help do they need? Ding, ding, ding. I don't know. With the homeless, I guess. <laughs> with the homeless, <laughs> I guess. Like a nice thing know. to do. <laughs> they need new kettles and Nothing bells. Nothing wrong with having holidays. a nice thing to do, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. I don't know what the Salvation Army does. Uh, food and meals? Care. Yeah. Kind of thing? Yeah, food, clothes, things Soup. like that. They, yeah, they close the home. Close, cl they close the homeless. They, they close, close the, the homeless. Clothe. Yes, give us clothe. some clothes. Clothe the homeless. Clothe the homeless. Clothe the homeless. Clothe the homeless. We're putting clues on the homeless. With no hooves. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That is so oh, bad. Oh, and you're in a better mood? Yes. All right. All Don't right. smack roll on the back of the head or you're no. fucking going to get killed. Yes. Re remember. Roland's like that lion with that baby by the plexiglass at the zoo. You're yeah. fucking evil. You I, see I, that one, Joe? It's great. It's awesome. It's protecting its baby? Oh, no. No. Oh. Or a baby. Punch that up real quick. It's amazing. It's, it's like the video that video of the day yesterday. Oh, no. It's no, uh, a lioness. Apparently, these people took their kid to the zoo dressed like a fucking little zebra, and this lion wants to eat this child so bad, <laughs> it can't even deal with how much it wants to eat that kid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why do they leave the kids sitting there? Because <laughs> it's funny. If the glass yeah, good protects them from the... That's how I feel I want pizza. That fucking thing is... I would imagine. You know what it would do to that kid? Oh, my God. It'd, it'd, be, it'd be a wrap. One fucking... Yeah. Uh, Look how big that mouth opens up. It could just take its whole head in there. Yeah. Big, dumb baby just sitting there, dressed like a zebra. <laughs> Who's the, I love that clip. Who are the assholes on YouTube that dislike something like that? How do you dislike? Well, those are the people that think it's cruel and terrible. Um, okay, I read some enough. of the comments. It was pretty good. People were just like, what horrible parents uh, <laughs> letting their <laughs> child sit there while a lion's trying to eat it. It did freak me out a little bit, to be honest. It, there was something that pussy. seemed a little wrong about it, but then you realize it's like the kid doesn't care and the glass is there. It's not going to... Mm -hmm. You know, if that glass breaks, a lot of people are in trouble. That's what, yeah, that's what I was thinking was, what if the glass broke? You'd just be kicking yourself. It's impossible. Yeah, it wasn't worth it. Here's something that Sal just ran in. We have no idea what this is. I hope it bombs. Okay. Don't get the panda angry! That's not a panda. Oh, no. Sorry, dude. It's okay. 
That's not a panda. What was that? A gorilla. Or a lion. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? Rollins referred to as an angry panda because he's cute and cuddly, but oh. then when he gets upset, he's uh, I thought we did the angry deadly. panda with you. Vicious. It wasn't you? No, it was Papa. Papa. Who made that? Who oh, made Tom that? Papa, right. Tom Papa. Who made that production? Sal. It sucks. Oh, you think Sal? It really was bad. Oh. Like Sal's normally pretty good at his job. Oh, I do understand. No. But that well, that was really bad. Oh, no. That he's wasn't trying. good. He hasn't even been around that long, so he couldn't be that good at his job. Oh, yeah, yeah oh, that's boy. true. I mean, when you really... Facts are facts. He tried. He tried. You I'd gotta, get rid you know. of him if I were you. Yeah, yeah maybe. Maybe, idea, maybe we made the wrong decision. Not a bad Seems idea. Taking him on board. You definitely made the wrong Back decision. Back to intern. No maybe about that. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. Fired. Yeah, dude. I, I can't didn't believe like... he's made it this far. Right. Yeah. Cool. I didn't like the way it was uh, voiced. Right. It sounded amateurish. A little bit. The voice. And uh, the lion at the end. And, know. you know, the thing's trying too hard. The thing with yeah. these bits is uh, they need to have a visual quality. Yes, yes. The exactly. audio needs to needs to leap off. Paint a picture. Right. Paint a picture. Paint a picture. I, just, I wasn't rookie, getting anything Rookie there. shit. Yeah, that it was rookie. Yeah. It was amateur. It was fucking. And this uh, ain't amateur hours. It was college, college radio at best. This is the biggest fucking radio show in the world. Exactly. So. All right. Okay. I see that. Sal, back to the drawing board for you. Why don't we take a break and continue? <laughs> Roland's good. He's thinking about Bruce. Everything's Bruce, fine, Bruce. right? All right. Someone sent me a file of us. Uh, she's the one from the other night. Yeah, they have it on YouTube. The whole entire show. Who, who's doing that? Um, there's one guy. There's one guy. There's that he, a, um, he, they do a four shot camera shoot for all the Bruce shows. He's allowed to do that. Ooh, not really though. But oh, it's, we all know who it is. I, I mean, you email him, he'll send you like. But the, Bruce isn't making him uh, take the videos down. Really? It, it was it, a four camera shoot of the song I really, really it promotes, enjoyed the other promotes night. the show, Bruce, so people go see it. Bruce, Bruce. Bruce. But uh, thanks to that guy uh, who sent me <gasps> sheets. Bruce. 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 I think Mother's Day is coming up. We know that, right? Joe, help me out with this, please. Yeah, man. Uh, what are you going to do for your mom? I'm going to buy her things. Are you going to give her a lame card you picked up from the gas station? Absolutely not. Who picks up cards at a gas station? Losers. No one is the answer. No one. So why is it in the copy? Well, it's... <clears throat> we all pick up lame Mother's Day cards, but we hope to find something that we can relate to. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I always feel guilty, though, because I'm like, oh, fuck, that's beautiful, but I didn't write it. <laughs> I uh, I write my name really, I sign it really quick and shut it and shove it in the envelope because I feel weird when you read, like, the sentimental stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, it's... it's... I feel like I have to write something. Well, I write something... Because I feel guilty. Yeah. If you just sign those cards, it's like, oh, you didn't really put any effort in this. No, I write something. Yeah. I mean, but I'm saying, like, I write it, and then it's just, I put it away quickly. Like, I can't look at it. Well, we're not suggesting you get a, a card for your mom. Oh well, then that's well, maybe you should, but then you gotta like pump it up with something. No card. This bastard, Steven Singer, doesn't want you to buy a Mother's Day card. He's got you covered. Doesn't he understand people could do both? Come to the card. No, not really. It's a tiny little thing that says, "Hey, this is from Steven Singer." Yeah, but you get your shit across. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Joe, you're gonna take her out to the same old uh, dinner at the Pickle Garden. <laughs> it's in the copy. <laughs> That's uh, isn't that terrific? That's my dad's favorite restaurant. So we go there Garden? on Father's Day. Yeah. That's not a big Mother's Day spot. <clears throat> my mom likes uh, the Corn Hutch. The Corn Hutch. Yeah, that's her place. The fact is, guys are stupid <laughs> when it comes to this stupid stuff. Did you know it's your job to buy a gift for your wife? No, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah. I just thought my two-year-old could go to the store on his own and no. figure it out. No. No, I didn't know that, no, Joe. No, you got to do it, Opie. Oh, Jeez, really? your wife, Opie. So you got to buy it uh, for your wife or your kids. This is very important. So what are you waiting for? What are you going to do? Take our advice. Head to Steven Singer. You know Steven Singer? I hate StevenSinger.com. <laughs> do you like him, though? I like him. I kind of like him. Which is why I don't like saying the web address. I think it's time for him to drop the I hate part. Yeah. It was like when Primus did Primus Sucks in the 90s. But they didn't suck, right? They did, yeah, but the fan, it was for the fans to buy. Right, it's like, right. oh, come on. Well, trust me, Steven Singer's not a rock star. <laughs> He's a jet. <laughs> He's a jet. <laughs> oh, boy. But he has fresh baked cookies when you go in there. Oh, boy. I got a fucking ring recently. That's right, I did. Yeah? I go there for what fucking kind of engagement ring? rings. What kind of ring did you Somebody get? Somebody else I was helping out. But I said, you know what? I got a guy. I got a guy. Really? Steven Singer. 
with uh, beautiful girls in there and fresh baked cookies Think and I- wine and beer if you like. Oh, yeah, and, and nice diamonds as wine well. Wine beer? Whatever you want, Joe. You can go tie one on while you're shopping for jewelry. The only weird thing is if you have to take a leak, you either have to go across the street to the Starbucks or you have to, like, go around to the back, go through another door, up the stairs, like like you're fucking doing a drug deal. I hate Steven I don't know, Singer. I don't know why he doesn't have a bathroom <laughs> for his customers right right there. That's now my only complaint it. about this now guy. Now I get the website. Yeah, now I now understand the hate. Sense. You have to sit there with a full bladder. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, he's going to make you look like a hero. That's where we're at. So easy. Uh-huh. We don't even know what we're talking about yet. We're five <laughs> minutes into this. What is it? This is like the uh, one bourbon, one scotch, one beer oh, really? version of this read. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting to the hook. <laughs> he has a beautiful selection of gifts, Joe. Perfect for Mother's Day. Here we go. This year... He's really come through. Steven has a beautiful brand new Super Silver Argenia Mother and Child Diamond Pendant. I went online because I wanted to be informed. Yeah? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Did it say I to feel say guilty. that? I didn't. No. <laughs> I was going to give him a little extra, and then I realized, you know what? I really didn't go online. Bullshit. But maybe I should and check this thing out because yeah. we're talking about it. It's only 149 bucks. so whether you're shopping for your mom, your wife, or your mother-in-law, Steven's going to make this Mother's Day so easy. He's got a great selection of gifts for all the mothers in your life. Visit Steven Singer Jewelers, the other corner of 8th and Walnut. Make sure you take a leak before you get in there. Trust That's me right. on that. That's right. Or call him toll-free at 8-8. A lot of cleavage in that place. At the Steven yeah, Singer. A lot of cleavage. It's in a great part of town, too. I like that part of Philly. Nice, right? Quite a bit. Yeah, seriously. One of the first banks in America is right down the street. Uh, and it's a bar now. I think is it? Well, there's a bar right in that area that used to that's called like Savings and Trust or something. Yeah, and, and, it's, and it's an old bank. Yeah, and you go in and it's the coolest bar I've ever been to in my life. All right, very good. Probably <laughs> shouldn't be plugging that right now. In the middle. It's like what the fuck are you guys doing? And, le- and left at the beginning of this read, and he's back. He's like, "What are you guys doing?" I just looked up and I realized like. Oh, it's still the re like I thought you guys were doing the show and I'm, I'm just sitting here like looking at my computer. I figured this was a way to kill a few minutes. Not bad. I so Not want bad out of here at all, today. Opie. I so want out of here today. I'm so tired. Uh, where were we? We're talking about banks, 149 bucks. Where were we? Uh, oh, I did that part. Making Mother's Day. Okay, he's making it easy. Here we go. Steven has a great selection of gifts for all the mothers in your life. Oh, oh yeah, the corner of 8th and Walnut with the fucking bladder thing. Okay, good. Or call them, 888-I-HATE-STEVEN-SINGER, or online with free shipping. That's key. A lot of these fuckers are killing you with the shipping costs. Yep. I hate Steven Singer.com. That's where you can see the, uh, the child diamond pendant thing with the mother attached to it. And check out the brand new Mother's Day, uh, yeah, Super Silver Argentium. Oh, that's right, I didn't mention that part, Diamond Pendant. Steven Singer is going to make your Mother's Day shopping so easy. So go to I hate Steven Singer.com. Yeah, all that shit. Hey, Joe, um, Mother's Day. What are you doing for Mother's Day? You know, I'm going to buy my mom things. What are you going to buy her? Well, I was thinking about getting a card at a gas station. No, don't do that. Really? No cards, sir. Not from a gas station? No. What about from, a, like a, you know, maybe a, a drugstore? Yeah, you should do that. Okay. Go early, or you get the shitty cards. <laughs> All right. I was the gonna... guys that aren't quite right with their poetry, <laughs> it's a little off. <laughs> I'm a last minute guy. I'm like, oh man, this poetry is missing something. I was gonna, I was gonna buy it on the way to to her house. Yeah, yeah, of course. For dinner, and and fill it out as I was driving. And is that and, not the best way to do it? And she could tell that because it's all smudged when she opens it up. Yeah, the yeah. ink is still drying as she's reading it. Yeah, let's not do that, Joe. All right, I'm, all right. Then um, what should I do? Okay. Well, instead of the usual flowers, flowers suck. Until we talk about flowers, then flowers rule. I was, but gonna, right now flowers suck. Let's be honest with each other. I was going to get her card with flowers on it. No, nah, don't do that, Joe. All right. But next hour, that might be a really good idea. Okay. All right. All right. Next hour, that might be a great idea. Ooh. But right now, flowers suck. You right understand now what I'm suck. saying? Yeah. Jewelry, if you it, it suck right now. Jewelry sucks. Gold dip roses right about now suck. They do. Yes. All right. Next hour, those could be the best ideas. But what doesn't suck yet for Mother's Day? What doesn't suck right now? Thank you, Joe. Is uh, berries. That you eat? Yeah. <laughs> right? 
I agree. I got you, nothing against Barry. You sound skeptical. No, I just, uh, I just didn't. Watch know. how we turn this around. Berries, yeah, it sounds a little going. weird. Mother's Day berries, what? Yeah, what is that? It's Sherry's berries. Sherry's berries. Sherry's berries. Yes, that's right. They are giant dipped strawberries. Ooh, from Sherry's berries. I'm listening. These enormous. Mouth-watering berries come dipped in white milk and dark, chocolatey goodness. Okay. I can barely say chocolatey, but it's in the copy. Right. And topped with chocolate chips. Ooh. And one of those, like, decorative swizzles. You know what a, what, I, yeah. you know what a decorative swizzle is? I know exactly what a fucking swizzle is, my friend. And then you throw <laughs> some nuts on there sometimes. Uh, okay. I actually... Uh, I actually gave my mom some of this for her birthday. Did you? Yeah, she ate them all in one sitting. Hey, every day's Mother's Day at Sherry's Berries. That's right, Joe. Go to berries.com. You know how to spell berries? Because they want me to spell it for the people. B-E-R-R-I-E-S. Dot com. Very good. Then you click on the microphone and type in the code Opie. You know what that's about? They want to know if their advertising's working. Right. So please help us out. If you go to Sherry's Berries, make sure you do that. Click on the microphone, type in the code Opie, O-P-I-E. Mom, wife, sister, and friends, the juicy berries are the perfect gift for all of the wonderful moms in your life. Plus, you could double the berries for just $10 more, Joe. That's Ooh. right. Show how much you appreciate her love and hard work. Order now for Mother's Day. Sherry's Berries, starting at nineteen ninety nine. Call 866-FRUIT-0, the number two. Got that? 866-FRUIT-0, the number two. Or even better, visit berries.com. Click the microphone in the top right corner. Type in Opie. Go to berries.com. Very important. Click on that microphone. Type in Opie. O-P-I-E. Hurry. This offer expires tonight at midnight. Sherry's Berries. Sirius XM. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. <laughs> Joe DeRosa was obsessing about the Reservoir Dog scene that he was talking about earlier in the show. <laughs> and uh, he found it. We were it all is. sitting around uh, in the diner. And... Uh, what what was he actually bringing up there? He's got it. Sam's got a kid up here to the, the night the lights went out in Georgia. That's where right. we're trying to figure out exactly what he says. Right. And we missed a couple really good lines here. I just listened to it. Okay. That Let's are really funny. Pop that. Let me hear this. I love this scene. You know what I heard the other day? Heartbeat, it's a love beat by Little Tony DeFranco and the Franco family. Man, I haven't heard that song since I was in the fifth fucking grade. But I was coming down here. The night the lights went out in Georgia came up. I... <laughs> I ain't heard that song since it was big. When it was big, I must have heard it a million trillion fucking times. <laughs> this is the first time I ever realized that the girl singing the song is the one who shot Andy. Wait, you mean you didn't know that Vicki Lawrence was the one who shot Andy? I thought it was the cheating wife shot Andy. You could have said that at the end of the song. I know, motherfucker. I just heard it. I'm talking about it. I must have zoned out during that party. Fight. All right. <laughs> Oh, I never caught that exactly. at the end when he goes, I must have zoned out during that part before. <laughs> I never caught brilliant. that at the end. That's fucking great. Such great uh, so dialogue. funny. Chris Penn. Uh, uh, Chris Penn, right? Yeah, That's Chris. Right. Yeah. yeah, 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 sure. Because he's got the other. What's the other brother's name? Michael Penn. Michael Penn, yeah. Okay. Chris Penn's fucking. He was great. That's, God, was he fucking good. He should have been in more yeah. stuff. I know. It's really so sad man. that he died. Yeah. He's, he tells the. On the Reservoir Dogs DVD, he tells these stories. In the bonus features about Lawrence Tierney, the guy that plays oh, yeah, Joe, there's yeah. crazy stories about him inviting him <clears> over <throat> his house and stuff. And I was watching it with Burr one night. We were laughing so fucking hard. Yeah. The guy's charisma is just leaping off of the... <laughs> you feel like he's there talking to you in a bar. Wow. He just has that kind of personality. He's laughing. He seems like he just seems like oh, such a man. great dude. Very sad, man. I gotta fucking... I gotta see that. I have, I've never seen the, uh, yeah, the commentary like that. Oh, uh, dude, his... His fucking delivery, it's great. They say it at the end of the song. I know, motherfucker, I just heard it. <laughs> <laughs> How about when they're driving in the car and he's talking to that guy at the restaurant? And he's like, he's an immigrant, he's a Mexican, he's a wetback, he's a friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking, the way he just throws that away. That is fucking great. <laughs> You're uh, under arrest, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Took some of that wacko glue and put it on his penis. Wacko glue. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. You beat a good one. this fucking prick long enough, I'll tell you, start the goddamn Chicago fire that don't necessarily make it fucking so. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Come on, man, think. That's another one Jay Moore does fucking uh, really he well. He does a great yeah. Chris Penn. <laughs> oh, dude, how good is that? What yeah. happened? His, no, it's Chris, oh, Chris, Chris Penn. Penn is amazing. fucking great, yeah. He, I don't have it with Out me, dude. Out of the fucking blue. <laughs> Daddy's coming down here and he's fucking pissed. <laughs> Oh, I vid I gotta bring it in here. I vi I video. I was at a diner. I opened for uh, Jay Moore a couple months ago, and we went to the diner in the casino, and we started. We, I told him the Buck Angel story. Oh, I saw that. And, yeah, we I started video, talking yeah. about it, and he, I videotaped Jay Moore for like seven minutes doing Harvey Keitel, telling yeah. me how to fight a transsexual man. <laughs> Dude, it is one of the funniest fucking impressions. <laughs> Jesus, put that up online. He's so good, man. Yeah, people he, love to see that. I don't know if he wants to you. I taped it, oh. and then I showed it to him, and then he goes, he goes, he goes, you should set, p p uh, play it on Opie Anthony. I go, okay. And then I played it for him, and he goes, you ruined it. You're laughing too much. <laughs> like, you do have a, a loud laugh, Joe. <laughs> it's a compliment to how funny it is. It's making me laugh. But Hilarious. Then, <laughs> but yeah. then you can't hear some of the lines, Joe. What do you want from me? What do you <laughs> want You're trying to listen to George Thorogood. You laugh through the whole thing. George Thorogood. Did I ruined the Thorogood? <laughs> funny <laughs> story. <laughs> it's a good story about <laughs> the land. Trying to pay the rent. And, right. And have it. Then he goes to the bar. Trying to figure out where he's going to get the money for the rent. It's fucking great. Yeah, it's a fucking hilarious story. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's going on with um, Ashton Kutcher? I just saw his mug on TV. Yeah, what is that? Some he's in trouble of... again? Yeah. <clears throat> Allegations of racism. What is that? He's kind of dumb, isn't he? He he's makes a lot of money, though, I man. think he's an idiot. He just, uh, they're going to they're gonna continue with two and a half men. Yeah. It's Holy gonna fuck. It's going to keep going? Yeah. He's getting 700,000 an episode. 700,000 an episode, and I'm sitting here telling wow. the world he's dumb. Well, what did he do? What's he's he in trouble for? Though. Well, this is you have the audio you have is the abridged version of just the offensive audio. So what is it? it basically, they did like a little viral video type commercial for Pop Chips. That's a mock. That? Uh, it's a mock dating website. Uh huh. And Ashton's playing a whole bunch of different characters. One of them is an Indian character, and he's doing an accent, and he painted his face all brown like. Oh, all right. Now, know. why is that bad? Because Indian people normally have darker skin, and if you're portraying one. Why wouldn't you use makeup to kind of make the illusion we're, better? We're not allowed to point out the obvious anymore. Yeah, the Indian folks don't like him in brown face. And so Pop Chips pulled the ad and apologized. I love uh, how that's racist, but seven years of that fucking character on that 70s show was fine. <laughs> that fucking immigrant being like, man, I don't understand well, the country. Yeah. <laughs> that was okay, that's but this is fine. fucking racist. Oh, wow, really? That's all it was? And black people in white face, like, you know, that fucking... Right. Like white what? chicks. <laughs> what white is that? Chicks? White chicks with the Wayans brothers. I was like, what example does he have of that? I have white no. chicks, the Wayans brothers. <laughs> we, and we can't get past that because we said no to the Wayans brothers. And I know it's because they did white chicks. <laughs> I just can't have the guys I don't want that, that did white chicks Wayans on our brothers. show. Oh, there were there. three That's... scenes in that movie that made me laugh, and I was shocked that it had that many. <laughs> really? All right, maybe I it's a good movie. I can't believe then. how not funny those guys are anymore. It's. They were Not funny. so fu Living Color was so funny. It was great. Scary Movie One was fucking hilarious, and then some. God, don't be a menace was fucking hilarious. Some goddamn yeah. switch went off, and it's like the whole family isn't funny Just anymore. Just became unfunny. <laughs> wow. I mean, yeah. I think you might be right though. I f it's like I, I admire them, so I feel bad. I, I, I'm honestly, I'm not trying to be provocative and shit on them. I'm just like, I don't understand what happened. Yeah, what happened to the family? You get too Hollywood. Nobody is funny in that I think family. You just get anymore. too fucking Hollywood. Not man. taking any chances anymore. Right. Because you know too many people. You're like, oh, yeah, maybe, maybe I shouldn't go down that road anymore. Yeah. I, got, I watched the TV Land Awards when they did The Living Color. Right. The Honored in Living Color. One of the shows. One of the shows. I got like. Goosebumps, like seeing them all on stage again oh, together, man. and see, and Jim Carrey, and 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 wow, you know yeah. David Allen Greer, and I was like, oh, this is so cool. The show was so fucking good. And then you're like, you think about the last like three movies they made. Yeah. That one where fuck white chicks, the one where he plays like the baby that has oh, a, yeah. that has oh, a grown God. up's head or whatever I the forgot. fuck that was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Ah, what Can the we fuck? get the? It's called like Lil Man or oh, something. Please get, Can we the, get trailer the trailer. That? Then we'll go to. The, we'll <laughs> go back to us and Kutcher. That is the worst oh, little I, man. I forgot about Lil what Man. What the fuck? You're so God. right, Joe. <laughs> oh my God. Let's, let's look at the trailer. Uh, Make it right, full well. screen, please. You got it. Please, Sam. Thank you, Sam. You're the best, Sam. Love you, Sam. Oh. In the world Married of Corleys, there's no one bigger. Then Calvin says, Stop it! You got a boot on the car and you're about to get one in your butt! Sorry, Cal. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh boy. Now he's back in action <laughs> and going for the score of a lifetime. That's what I'm talking about. But something is about to go. The Queen's Diamond gets gone! Terribly wrong. <laughs> and to finish the job. Got the diamond? I had to ditch it. Now what? We go get it. <laughs> Oh my You'll god. Hide out. I got a plan, yo. Go get it. In someone else's crib. Honey, look. Oh my god. It's a baby. Coco Keke? Oh my man, god. This is god. So they went for that. Fucking bad. Dude, listen to the music. Like, He's adorable uh, in a National Geographic sort of way. And the guys who brought you white chicks. Why are you in that? Fix you for you to have a good night's sleep. Mmm, creamy. You're drinking breast milk. Comes a spit take. Bundle uh. of joy. I'm gonna show you how great it is to have a dad, and you're gonna show me what it's like to be a dad. Oh. And this summer, are your Percy? It's me. Cal, you get the diamond? No, not yet. I'm in time out. He'll be going. Oh oh Daryl, what are you doing? That's a rectal thermometer. <laughs> Where no little man has gone before. <laughs> oh my God! Jesus, you dude. Play a game of peekaboo, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Peekaboo, I see him. Peekaboo, I see him. Yep. Sean Wayans. Wow. Morning. You were in it. Last night, you've never done that before. <laughs> oh my god, this is terrible! One for the baby. <laughs> Just sworn he just stuck his tongue in my mouth. Oh my god, wow! That's oh my god, really uncomfortable. That is too chilly. That is too chilly. That is so and, and here's the fucked up. Uh, the guy that plays the baby. You were in Requiem for a Dream. <laughs> Before that. Before that. What the fuck are yeah, you, you doing? You could have said no to that. Oh, man. Uh, you know, what's, you know what's even more disturbing? That movie's six years old already. How, uh, how is that possible? I, 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 I was dumbfounded. Mm. I wanted to comment. I couldn't, I couldn't speak. That was it, horrible. Jesus Christ, dude, that's up there with major pain. Ooh, shit, major that was pain. Damon Wayans. Yeah. Major pain. He was the. Did you ever see the. Uh, yeah, the remember when guy. Martin Short used to do Jiminy Glick? Yeah. Did you ever see when he interviewed. He did one where he interviewed Damon Wayans? And, dude, it's, it's so fucking funny, man. In the middle of the interview, uh, Martin Short just looks at his notes and he goes, Major pain. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking Damon Wayne starts laughing. Because he knows. He's like, I know, it's fucking piece of shit. Yeah, it's a shit. I know it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's coming. Yeah. Here it is. Oh, here it is. This is, a, this is really funny, actually. I'm sitting here with the wonderful Damon Wayans of the legendary Wayans family. Which, which Wayans brother are you, Damon Wayans? I get confused. There's so many of you. Uh -huh. Damon Ivory Wayans. <laughs> Damon Kyle Wayans. Keen, it's Keenan Damon, Ivory. Keenan Ivory. Yes. Damon Ivory. Damon Kyle. It's just, it seems like there's it's too much for this noggin of mine to take. <laughs> that was a funny fucking character. I love it. Yeah, that's too low. Yeah, it really is. Anyway, sound oh, sucks on it. I'm gonna check. I got a lot of stuff to check out because of you today, Joe. Ah. Uh, um, oh, oh. So they asked you, Kutcher, play the whole commercial. Uh, by the way, pop chips suck. You try pop chips? Yeah, they're no. nasty. They're like styrofoam. They're fucking nasty. They're very, shit. very airy. No substance to them. Fucking nasty. Looking for romance? It's here with worldwide lovers. Come meet our bachelors. I'm Raj. I'm a Bollywood producer. I'm looking for the most delicious thing on the planet. I'm Nigel. And I'm seeking higher planes of consciousness. Higher planes of consciousness. <laughs> Money creates taste, and I have lots of both. Okay, go away, James. So, who am I? I am Dara. My name is Swordfish. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for something hot and spicy. Like Kardashian. He's hot. terrible. I would give that dog a oh, bone. Just stinks. That would I describe me. I'm an extraordinary lover. <laughs> I can also, without even looking, tell you whether you have an innie or an outie belly button. So my whole life is detail. Higher. Lower. He's terrible. I was in a milk contest. I love poetry. Mm. And I want it. Huh? Mm. 
I'm sorry, I was holding my breath to look This is offensive just because it stinks. Yeah. Uh, and every character is a ripoff of somebody. The fucking white hair guy is Dieter from Sprockets. This is Poo Poo. This is a magical feather that was given to me by a shaman. Would you like it, G? Poo Poo, it's okay. They are kosher. She only eats kosher. Yes. Uh, and I bet they were going crazy that he ate oh, it after the yeah. dog licked it on the all, set. Oh, all, oh, wow. Your waiting room's like a freak show. Are we all in the same category? Life is short. Well, shouldn't get in trouble for that, though. No, that, that had nothing. Like I said, it's more offensive that it just is horrible. And they yanked the spot? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. No, more knee-jerk reaction to Yikes. fucking nothing. So sad. For nothing. What the fuck? There's yeah, no what reason. What is happening? It's we're, fucking up comedy is what it's doing. It's fucking ridiculous, There's man. There's no reason for that. None so what? He's playing an Indian guy in a, a montage of a bunch of shit where he was wearing makeup. Who cares? That's why, that's why guys like Tarantino are the shit. Where they're just, <clears throat> I saw an interview with him once where he goes, he goes, people tell me all the time. He goes, I don't understand when people say you can't do stuff. Yeah. He goes, people say it to me all the time. I'll tell them what I'm going to do in my new movie. And they'll be like, you can't do that. It's offensive. He goes, go fuck yourself. I can do whatever I want. Yeah, yeah. And he fucking does it, and he operates outside of the system. Like, nobody can fuck right. with that guy. And it's But then... It, Ah. That's so tame. Didn't Spike Lee say he used nigger in his movies too much? The yeah. word. Yes. Uh, uh, and, and he got all like. And Quentin's like, fuck you. Because you do. Right. Gives a shit. Makes the movies funny. Come on. <laughs> that fucking. Spike Lee is so hateable. That scene with the fucking. Hateable. With the wolf coming well, over? Of course. Imagine not I being really, able to fucking use them. I really uh, was. Uh, like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of a lot of Spike Lee's movies. Uh. And I, I was a big fan of him for a long time, but like this whole thing that he just did, where he like tweeted out oh, yeah. George Zimmerman's address, the wrong, it was address. The wrong address. It was like, dude, are you out of your fucking mind? What are you yeah. doing? Anyone you else? Doing? Anyone else Jesus. would get in a lot of fucking trouble for that. Yes. They, they certainly would have got kicked off Twitter at the very least. But, yeah, but it's because like, of Spike Lee, I guess he gets to slide, gets a pass. Yeah, gets regardless pass. of your. This is what kills me about that. It's like, regardless of your whole what your opinion is in that whole discussion, it's like, dude, you don't take vigilante tactics. Yeah, that's vigilante shit. Like, that's like we're, we're gonna go find this guy and pull. It's like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you gonna find him to and and have people discuss things with him? I'm amazed. <laughs> no, yeah. so for violence. I'm amazed there wasn't more outrage. Uh, what? Are you really? Are you really amazed? Well, I guess not. After yeah. a while, you're not. But I mean, you should be amazed. I guess. Yeah, I mean, way be. more should have happened to but, him. I can't take no the, the just the entire state, and it goes back to to what we were talking about early on with with Romney and Obama. It's it's like the both sides of that coin make me fucking sick. Yeah. On one side, it's guilty bleeding heart white people uh, trying to support s supporting somebody that that they know isn't effective in getting done what they think needs to be done or whatever but they're so fucking guilty yeah uh and, and stubborn that they're just going to keep supporting this person and then on the other side is just empty-headed fucking white people thinking that a guy like Mitt Romney is really on their side or actually gives a shit it's so fucking ridiculous meanwhile both of these fucking guys have the same exact I, it kills me when Romney goes Obama couldn't fix the economy but I will Oh uh, will you Will you yeah, Will you Romney Yeah exactly it's easy How are you to say that it? They, all, they all do both sides it's easy to say that That's what they but that's all it so is So easy You just got to hope you're in office when the economy swings up Right cuz the president is. isn't doing shit to that's help the is. fucking economy David Mamet wrote an article where he compared the Bush administration to the Kennedy administration, it was unfucking believable He was like, Bush, Bush gets blamed for Iraq, uh, current war in Iraq. Uh, Kennedy is was responsible for Vietnam. Bush was in bed with the oil companies. Kennedy was in bed with the mob. Uh -huh. Bush stole the election in Florida. Kennedy stole the election in West Virginia. It's all the same horseshit. Yeah. None of it matters. The only thing that matters is if when you and I meet at the water cooler, <laughs> we can get along and like work together and respect each other's opinions. Yeah. And it was the best fucking breakdown I've ever heard of it, <laughs> outside of the Carlin thing about how he doesn't vote or whatever. Yeah, that's a great one. But... uh it's, you know, it, it, know. We're, 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 you know, the best president uh, in the that in history might be some guy that's just fucking broke in the middle of fucking Nebraska somewhere, but has no ability to become the president. 
Not, right. It doesn't have the money, doesn't have that, but might be like the best guy for the job. Yeah. We always get the choice of the two guys that have millions upon millions of dollars millions. to throw away. And millions. millions. And millions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there's yeah. no, you know, it's like really, the guys have, so the prerequisite is you have to be fucking loaded or be able to raise a fuckload of money to be president. I think it's, it's just bullshit. It's just so, it's so ridiculous. And the whole shit now, too, where the Republicans are bitching about, and I'm not saying this to attack the Republicans or to attack the, the left. It's, I'm just saying it to, to say it's just the same poor shit. <laughs> like the fact that the Republicans are going, oh, well, well Barack is, um, he's boasting that he killed Obama. Yeah, yeah. He's proud of it. It's like, that's Osama. what. Osama. <laughs> you, you, what, what did I say? Oh, that the president killed Obama. <laughs> oh, sorry. Osama Bin Laden, I meant to say. Excuse yeah. me. The, um, yeah, it's like. That's what you guys fucking do. It's 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 like all exactly. sides do the exact same thing. It's two tattletales. Right. Yeah, yeah. I didn't do it. He did it. No. Ooh, he look did what it. he's doing. It, it's just like when uh, I mean, Zeppelin it, got busted for stealing all those songs. Right. And when they would interview Jimmy Page, he'd be like, "Robert said it was fine." <laughs> and then they would interview Robert Plant. And he'd be like, "Fucking go talk to Page. He's the one that did." It. Uh, same fucking thing. Yeah. They made those songs their own, though. They fucking stole them. They're thieving fucking limey pricks. But I, get, I, mean, I love Zeppelin as much as anybody. But I think back then it was acceptable. Yeah, yeah. That's the only well, argument I have on that. They you know didn't what? Give I think if, they, a lot of those guys coming up, they <clears> would they would listen to the blues. They were obsessed with the blues. They'd find these obscure blues songs that mainstream America didn't really know yeah. yet. And they would redo them. Here's the yeah, truth of the fucking matter. They didn't give any credit in the writing credits. Who gives a shit? They did and, then, back then. and then Paige also stole songs from the Yardbirds, his former band. Uh, yeah, that's true. And just made them maybe, songs. Maybe he wrote them for the Yardbirds. Uh, there was a lot of argument that he maybe. was only co-writer. Like what song? Uh, I don't remember because I don't know Zeppelin's catalog well enough to be able to. Yeah, to, I to I name. think you'd have never heard those fucking blues songs anyway. No one was ever gonna hear fucking. That's what I mean. Some guy fucking I've been a long time since a rock and roll. Yeah, but I've been alone. That's what. But I'm it saying. doesn't mean it's okay to steal it. But yeah, it does. I'm saying those. <laughs> no one would. It was gone anyway. <laughs> but uh, if a tree falls and no one's there to hear it. <laughs> oh God. No, a band like Zeppelin <laughs> brought a lot of those songs to light. That uh, I think Ann's right. That were but just completely buried. But they didn't give the guy credit or royalties. That, well, that, what? Is. That's the shitty yeah, that, part. Yeah, that is the shitty part. What upside is it for them to say we didn't write this? Makes you look like faggots. And back then, yeah, the band had to write their fucking songs. Right. Makes you look like faggots. You know why? Because you're a bunch of fucking faggots. <laughs> and that's why I'm angry about it. And, and they should have bought one less castle and, and do the right thing and use what? that money Press to up? take care of the blues guys. Ah, the old blues I don't guys. mean, by the way, I don't mean faggot as gay. Exactly. Are you funny. sure, Joe? Are you sure? We just use that word I'm not... in the context of well, I used to use it with my friends. You know, it's, it's, like Richard, <laughs> how pissed would you be? Okay, now listen. I didn't, I didn't love. Did we play the spirit song for you yet? By who? Led Zeppelin. Well, oh boy. Did, did we do this? That's a you? great one. No, what's the spirit song? Oh my god! Play that. Play oh, that fucking can thing. Can you find that really fast? Please play that fucking thing. You want to hear "Stairway to Heaven" before "Stairway to Heaven"? Oh, oh yeah, I've heard this. Holy fuck! They're fucking thieves! Holy <laughs> fuck! It's ridiculous that it's yeah. the same fucking. What was song. the name of the spirit song? That came. We did this whole bit. It came Maybe. out before um, "Stairway." All right. Which is, there's a hundred different spirit songs. Oh, is there? Yeah, you guys kind of you guys broke the guy that that did this. We right? were kind of. Um, I don't know. I I. I I take pride in the fact we were the first, you know, mainstream show that did this. Do you remember who did it? We did this, we did this years ago. What was the name of the spirit song? Somebody help me. Uh, let's help see. Help me, Jesus. Help me. Help I'm me. looking. I'm that, looking. That's it, isn't it? Help me, Jesus. I'm looking. Huh? This is a remix. <laughs> Uh, song similarities, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, the song was called Taurus, I think. Taurus by Spirit. And then it was Stairway to Heaven. Right? Yeah, okay, thank you, Yeah, sir. listen to this. This is Taurus by Spirit. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. I you haven't heard it yet. Huh? Plant Page said, we don't need all this nonsense. Yeah. I know. Yeah. We'll, we'll just go to the riff. We'll put our own shit in.
Stupid flute. Uh, fucking Ron Burgundy, Anchorman flute. <laughs> we're going to do an hour. <laughs> Next time you're in, we're going to do an hour on the flute. Ron Burgundy, <laughs> All right? Anchorman flute. Uh. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Flute. Okay. This is good. <laughs> how, do, how do they live with themselves? You can't. There's not even an argument here. It never gets old. It never gets old. How do they sleep at night? Stairway is their biggest. People say Stairway to Heaven is the greatest rock song. It always makes number one on everyone's list, They're right? Fucking themes. That's hilarious. Jesus. They just amazing? really fucking ripped that riff right the fuck off. They said, fuck you, man. Wow, that's funny. Yeah, I hate to say it, because I love Pearl Jam, but they have a song that is just jacked right off a of fucking Tori Amos song. Really? Yeah, Given to Fly by Pearl Jam is is jacked right off of a, uh, an old Tori, Tori Amos, Amos song. Though. I'm not too... It's uh, one of her p popular songs, like or what was one of her popular songs. Really? This Tori is a new one. Amos. I would imagine it's hard to come up with something completely But she doesn't care. Music. I mean, like, she's never bitched about it. But you hear it. Oh, dude, it's... it's it's. Do, 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 do. What fucking Tori Amos song? No, like anybody's going to know. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Cornflake Girl? Is Where's that Tori Amos? Who is that? Which one is it? That is yeah, your fucking queer. <laughs> I just remember that title. I don't know how it goes. I swear to God. Cornflake Girl. <laughs> Um, I just have a Rain Man fucking thing. What was that song that was fucking exactly like Lady Madonna? That what's his name did? Um, fuck. Yeah, I know. We just um. Oh, wow. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh shit! Fuck! I can't think of the name of the band. It was that fucking guy. Here's one. Let me look it up. Damn it! Yeah, everything. Hold on, up. I got a good one. Offspring. Thank you. Oh right. Yes. <laughs> Offspring does a song that sounds exactly like Lady Madonna. What song? Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, which song is it? We have a whole disc of this stuff somewhere. Yeah. Which song is it? I don't remember. Yeah, they'll it's, give it to me any it's second. It's Obla D Obla Da, and they do uh, get a job. Oh, is that it? But isn't that... That's, oh, right. Wait, yeah, that's Obla not Obla a Obla Beatles... Da. I always thought Sorry. Get a Job was an actual Beatles cover. No. Oh, it's, it's not? No. That's uh, hilarious. I okay. thought that that was a cover of Obla no, Dio. Listen, like, uh, no. Offspring, get a job. It's, listen to this. <clears throat> offspring, get a job. Mm. Oh, my God. Those fuckers. <laughs> da, 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 da. Did you sing ho, more? Ho, 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 ho. Ah, this is exactly. Wait, wait when it kicks in. I wish this guy would sing more annoyingly. This is Obladi Oblada. Yeah, life goes on, right? It's, it's called Obladi Oblada, right? Yeah. It really you is. Fucking is that unbelievable. So uh, I'm being reminded by RJ. Spirit finally had it and went after Cheap Trick. That was a famous lawsuit. Cheap Trick? Cheap Trick did the flame. <laughs> Why? Why did fucking Spirit get ripped off? So much? <laughs> they have a song. This is this is a really famous one. Uh, Cheap Trick had that huge hit, The Flame. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. This is Cheap Trick, I guess. Yeah. Okay. The song bites. I remember this one. Yeah. Uh, take this it song? down. Let's take yeah, it down. Totally. I had this record. I got this record for Christmas. And, and oh. Sam, find uh, Nature's Way by Spirit. This was a famous lawsuit. Spirit finally said, you know what? Fuck Sam. everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just try to get to the hook and then we'll go to uh, Spirit. All right. Is that good enough? Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's all coming back to me.
Yeah. This is arena rock, That's right? Much. Oh, yeah. All right, now go with Spirit. Right, Nature's guess, Way. Nature's Way. <laughs> Spirit's like, you know, you fuckers pursuing everybody. It's the same fucking riff. Spirit albums. Ah, oh, it's so funny, dude. I remember this song. Isn't that amazing? Here's—I got a good one. I—I th I think I've actually mentioned this one on the show before, years yeah. ago. Pull up "Sister Golden Hair," please, oh. by America. Uh huh. We just need to hear the verse. Sister Golden. This is a great tune. This one too. Yeah, I kind of like this song. Yeah, this is a good tune, man. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ray Parker Jr. and Huey Lewis. We know that yeah. one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That was a big one. This. this is another one that nobody. This one nobody talked about. This one. All right. That's all you need? Now pull, yeah. Now pull up Green Day, Scattered. All right. No, no Green Day wouldn't do this. Oh, boy. Not Green oh, Day. No, they did. No. I don't know if I ever heard, ever heard this one. Let the ver let just wait for the verse. A little heavier. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, I tried to make it. <laughs> That's a little loud. Uh, bah, 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 bah. That's a little more energy. That's hilarious. We'll cover it up with, yeah, yeah. With volume and energy. <laughs> wow, that's a good one. Joe yeah. Satriani and uh, Viva La Vida by uh, Coldplay. Yeah, he sued him over I that think one. you lost that one, right? I think so. Hmm. Mm. Huey Lewis won against Ray Parker Jr. Didn't yeah, he? and then there was a famous one where John Fogerty. What was it? He had to sue himself. Yeah, because he ripped else. off CCR when he was in CCR. <laughs> he but got... he wrote the song, so it was like he has company. He, he literally has a... had to sue himself. Uh, that one was really confusing. The record label. He left C. Old CR. Man Down the Road. I think it was. Yeah, and, he uh, went CCR and went solo. Went the record the label sued him. Right. For saying you're ripping off the Credence sound, we own Credence. You're ripping off yourself. <laughs> right, because it's own, him. We own your old self. So he had to go into court and defend why his solo stuff sounded different sounded like, from Credence. Right. And he actually brought a guitar into the courtroom and like had to show everybody, like, look, the Credence songs do this and my songs do that. Wow. But he was the creator of both. Just amazing. It's a fucking fucking lawyer. Fucking asshole. That's one of those classics. Like it is him and his brother, and they fucking hate each other. Yeah. That's like an Oasis thing where it's like. Mm. The, uh, I found a fucking video of Oasis. It's too long to watch, but you find good shit, dude. You really do. You gotta. And you thank find you. this shit. Can you text me? Cause yeah. I'm, I'm bored at home, babysitting. I oh. tweeted yeah. this out. Help me out. I tweeted this out. I wrote, I always thought I hated this guy, but it turns out I actually love him. And it was just a 12-minute video of the lead singer of Oasis doing, like, asshole things in interviews and in public. I was... <laughs> well, it's a montage? Yeah, I was good. laughing can we, so hard. Can we get a piece of it before we leave? Yeah, his, he's... If it's good, Liam we'll put it on our Facebook page. I think Which Liam's Gallagher the was? singer. Liam Gallagher. Liam or Noel. I don't they know. really are Noel's. assholes. And you don't like the band. No, I'm not a I, big I like fan of Oasis. Stuff. The whiny shit. Yeah, Champagne the, soup and So type in Liam Gallagher's yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah, yeah. greatest moments or something like that. <laughs> there, it is. there it is. That's the funniest moments. He went, are you singing Soul <laughs> Sally Can Wait? No, I walked through and I said, yeah, I reckon you should fucking sing. Soul Sally Can Wait. Right. You know, is I, that, I, which is the truth. Did he write that lyric? Yes, or did course, you because so he said, did. And he reckons that I was, you know. But he said, all right, all right let's just say, for argument's sake. Right. So he alluded to the fact. <laughs> They're fucking arguing about who wrote the fucking right. lyrics. They're two brothers. Said, no, Jesus and he said, well, you should do. So what were you singing at the time? You were singing I don't know, I was singing, I don't know. I, I don't know. So fucking. So which one's the asshole? 
I don't know. The one on the right. This, okay. this is this is the first clip. All right, then. Who's first, then? It's <laughs> <laughs> the not here. It's got to be you there with that weird haircut there. How many haircuts you got there for? <laughs> you know, I'd like to thank all the people who voted for us. I thought we were going to win nothing, you know what I mean? To say, you never know these days, you know, I don't, you know, you don't, I come because, you know, you get invited, you know what I mean? And, you know, and if I wouldn't have won anything, I'd f***ing smash the gaff up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is the worst fashion mistakes on the Have you seen someone that's so, like, ooh, like, so fashionable and is really doing your head and it looks hideous? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Who? You. Oh, you <laughs> I had uh, the darkness uh, on my show on Friday. Whoopee. <laughs> and uh, I asked them if they, uh, if they wanted to ask you a question. Whoopee. I have to say, I am a bit nervous because I've seen some interviews and I've seen what he does to journalists. Le leave it there, just you tell me what they said. We're massive Oasis fans. Does he like the darkness? Do I like the darkness? Yeah. I like that first song when it come out and then they said something about me. No, I couldn't be arsed with him now. I can't wait to bump into him one day. Apparently he lives nearby. Yeah. <laughs> I like that silly song that they come out with first time, it made me laugh. <laughs> that made me laugh. <laughs> so made him laugh. laugh. And then he got a bit serious and started getting a bit big for the boots. Started slagging off the boys. So now, what's the next? They're being hyped as the best band around at the moment. Is all the hype true? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Good. The best band <laughs> I'm out today on the planet. <laughs> It's a fact. <laughs> you know it's a do you have to be feeling something every time to write? I've got to be honest. I've got. To, I can't write songs about being 21. young and unemployed and being 21 <laughs> because I'm not. You know. Why do you write songs but about me being sweating on and very good looking? <laughs> no, you said you've got bands out there styled and that, and you can see them a mile off like Coldplay. You know what I mean? And you know they don't buy their own clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they should. They should buy pretty green. <laughs> what about uh, Coldplay? Coldplay. What about them? Do you like Coldplay? All right. Just okay. All right. So they don't. They don't. They don't do it for me that much. They're not rock and roll enough, man. Yeah. You know, they're all right. They live all around the corner for me, so I don't say too much. To <laughs> yeah. They're neighbours. Is to come round and you know give me a paper cut or something? You trying to say paper cut or something? Such. That is. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's, I'm going to watch the whole That's pretty no, good. Yeah, yeah. It goes on and on. Good for him, though. Because I think that's how he is. There's a clip where he he's wins it. fucking acting. <clears throat> no, I love it, dude. There's a clip where he wins an award, and he's d he's doing it just to piss everybody off. He's getting booed, and he's fucking wiping his ass with the award <laughs> to the audience. And I'm like, that's fucking hilarious that he's doing that. He knows how to piss everybody off, and he's just running with it. Yeah. I mean, he's saying that um, Coldplay isn't rock and roll enough. Oasis was kind of went at times, right? <laughs> you know what's funny? After I saw this, I started going through the Oasis catalog and listening to stuff, and uh, they were way better than I ever kind of thought they were. Cause oh, I like some of their stuff, absolutely. Yeah, I thought it was all ballads and stuff, but it's not. The uh, maybe I just don't know enough about the band. Yeah, the band. The band. The band. All it's right. A fact. Joe, yeah. we're going to start our weekend. Thank you oh, for coming yeah. in today. Oh, All the way absolutely. from Philly and sleeping on, um, well, no, in Roland's bed. He gave up his bed, had a little sleepover, had to deal with the snoring just to come in here, and we appreciate it. Make sure your mom knows we're thinking about her. Thanks for having me, man. Seriously, guys. Yeah, this was Joe, such you're a... always a fucking pleasure having Joe absolutely. on. Absolutely. This was such a welcome uh, relief and break from everything at home. Yeah, so yeah. Thank you. Stressful. I really appreciate being here. Very stressful. So we got, what, Caroline's Memorial Day weekend sort of around there? Yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday of Memorial Day weekend, I'll be there, and uh, Warner Sound channel on YouTube, Pilots, yeah. coming out that week. All right, Joe. So, yeah. Uh, remember, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Di Gold dip roses are all the fucking Oh, rage. right. You know what? <laughs> They're all the rage, man. I think that's the move on Mother's Day, you know, isn't it? I mean, I, oh, yeah. I don't think you should send your mom, like, I don't know, chocolate-covered stuff. Oh, well. <laughs> or flowers. <laughs> or some dumb, dumb pendant. Hey, wait a minute. I really... What? But before, you were saying... No, 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 no. But I heard before... I told all the people what I was going to do. <clears throat> oh. You yeah. said an hour later, trust me, it's going to be the shit. Oh. Guess what? It's time for the, it's the time good for shit. The shit. Yeah. This is the good shit for Mother's good Day. Shit. Uh, here's a question, Joe. What's the most important holiday? Mother's Day. They're supposed to guess Christmas. Oh, well, I, I 
you know, Christmas because I, I, I also no, no, get no, things. not Christmas. And then <laughs> you have to not. Go, and then you have to guess Valentine's Day. Valentine's no, 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 Day. not Valentine's Day. Father's it's Mother's Day. Day. Mother's Day. <laughs> Jesus. All right, Mother's Day. Do you love your mom? Joe loves his mom. I, I do. Tell. Yes. He's made some sacrifices to make sure mommy's okay. Love my mom. Uh, fact. <laughs> Baby mom. Fact. 100% <laughs> fucking fact. Steven Singer, we're talking about the famous gold dip roses, of course. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, we like these roses for oh, sure. Yeah. Lots of different colors, by the way, besides the gold dipped uh, rose. It's the perfect gift for mom, uh, your mother in law, or the mother of your children. A real long stem rose dipped in 24 karat pure gold. The gift lasts forever, and it's only 69 bucks. That's 69 bucks. Steven Singer's real long stem rose comes uh, shipped in a beautiful gift box. Yeah, they have a nice All display right. with this thing. Yeah. And the uh, personalized Mother's Day card. Oh, geez, over there. That sounds nice, dear. He comes up every holiday with a bunch of them for us. And I pass them around, man, and people seem to really, really like them. The gold roses? The gold roses, but they have different colors. Joe, you want to know about the different colors? Then gold? You could choose from violet pearl. I don't understand. What does that signify? I don't know. (laughs) But wait, it's a gold rose, but it's not the color of gold? The gold rose is like, that's that's one of his main ones. But he's like, you know what, maybe people don't like the gold dip rose. You know, so he's got other colors. But they're gold dip, but then he he accents them with various colors. Oh, but I've seen ones where they're just gold dipped. Yeah, yeah. Then then he puts colors on them after. gold one. Gotcha. Pearl uh, symbolizes admiration. He decided that, I guess. He's decided what the colors mean. It's I've never heard this before. Uh, must fucking be nice. fact. This guy, fact. this guy is full of himself. I love him. Now. <laughs> fucking fact. <laughs> Admiration. You fuck. But he's full of himself. Oh, yeah. All these colors. He's deciding for us what the colors mean. Thank you, you Stephen. Stop. Peach <sighs> symbolizes appreciation. Really? I didn't know that. It never. He made it up. It never has symbolized All right, that. Good. He, he made, made it, it up. up. Stephen Singer's a liar. How about Stephen? They're going to go to your website and they're going to pick the color because it looks cool. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And the classic. The nice color. It's like, all... I like Peach, but I don't admire her very much. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in a quandary. <laughs> and the classic all gold, which symbolizes respect and eternal love. Oh. No, that, that no, man. That symbolizes rich. That is. That symbolizes that does. peach. That symbolizes I gold? got some of that money. It's money. Gold up. roses. Listen to all of us, please. I hate stevensinger.com. Our jobs uh, depend on this. Go there and order some shit from mom. Wow. Order now and get free shipping. The perfect gift from the best jeweler in the country. Call 1 888 I hate Steven Singer or go to I hate stevensinger.com. That's right. Order your Mother's Day rose now. Do it. It's a fantastic idea. Fantastic. I hate stevensinger.com to check out the roses for yourself. I'm looking at them now. 